Tira sene neni ando no 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 moni andi Kasira bakati balaba sene ni me handi kadia Zikra tira basun tene meni andi na kruse kediba Karika de bahase kadiba sante na mani andi kedia Father we thank you, Father we thank you, Father we thank you Zikatalera <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Amanda, congratulations. Our first time crossover prayer governor. From wherever you are, just begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for dragging me to the prayer. Hello, somebody. It's 9 p.m. right here in South Africa and my body, my body is telling me it's 9 p.m. in South Africa. Hello, somebody. But I am just grateful to be here. I am just grateful to be a useful vessel in the capable hands of our master. I am just grateful that God has found a useful vessel in me this evening. So if you're feeling some type of way this evening, let me tell you something. You're not alone. Hello, somebody. <laughs> but we're going to power through this time of prayer and we're about to have an exciting time in the presence of the Lord. The Lord is good. The Lord, Lord is gracious. The Lord is kind. The Lord is merciful. And I just want you to begin to pray from wherever you're connecting from. If you can speak in another tongue, just begin to charge up the atmosphere. Let's begin to charge up the atmosphere and let's begin to ask God for strength. Lord, give us strength for the journey ahead. Give us strength, give us strength, give us strength. Or oh, just begin to lift up your voice and begin to pray. Zaka diva yande kadibalara se kere bahasa. Kasi kadababa yande kadibasaka. Let's just charge up the atmosphere. Let's just charge up the atmosphere. Zaka diva la kasi kadibalara zoke de bea. Rande kadibasaka de bababa. Kasi kedebe arinda namasi kadiva kale krado si kadabasha. Entene me kadibasa kadiba. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Just begin to charge up the atmosphere. Let's take authority of the ground this evening, this afternoon, this morning, depending on whatever time zone you're connecting from. Just take charge of the atmosphere you're in. Lord, I will pray this evening. Lord, I will enjoy your presence this evening. Just take charge. Take charge of that atmosphere. Raka zeke de belebe saka vika dante na mando kusika da bayase. Areke azinta na maka sekira bayande kediva. Roka zeke di balaka seke ziva. Ante neneki ya zeke de beyante kediva saka de balako zekredi saka ziva. Amproke zava kadi bakadi ante nemeke seke di bakana mako zekelia. Raka zeke de kadi bayande kedi basande kedia. Aroka da bayando ka seke de beka zeke de bebebe. Father, we enter your courts with thanksgiving. We enter your courts with praise this evening. Azika da va ke da bayando ka seke di bala. Areke de beyande ke di this is the day that you have made and we rejoice and we are glad in it.
In the matchless name of Jesus. Father, we take authority, we take power, we take governance over the atmosphere this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that the network, we declare that the atmosphere shall begin to cooperate with this time of prayer in the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus, we take authority, we take power over the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. We take power over over the airwaves in the name of Jesus. We take power in the name of Jesus over the region in the name of Jesus. We declare and we begin to decree that there shall be no weapon fashioned against us on this virtual portal of prayer that shall prosper in the matchless name of Jesus. We declare that the prince of the air shall not take ownership of the airwaves in the matchless name of Jesus. We release the power that breaks the yoke of bondage. We release the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage over this broadcast in the matchless name of Jesus. We take rulerships over powers and principalities this evening in the name of Jesus. And as we charge and ascend into the realms of the spirit, we declare that there shall be no barriers. There shall be no blockades. There shall be no hindrances. There shall be no limitations to our prayer time in the name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus, we take authority over the atmosphere. We take authority over this region. We take authority over the airwaves. Azaka, antenna, a rekodaba, shanema, kashika daba yande, ke seke diva yande ke diva. Erota laba seke ni makande ke dia shaka diva la ko sika daba. In the matchless name of Jesus, arise, King of Glory, and let your enemies be scattered. Azekevaka, amprako di balako, zekede bayande kadiba sante ne mekesa. In the matchless name of Jesus, eraka de basaka. Your word says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. We begin to declare and decree that as Jesus Christ is lifted up over this broadcast that he is drawing all men unto himself izaka antena a rekodava la croza kadiba yande ke seke de ve ande ne me kusa kadiba yande kasika so be lifted jesus over this broadcast azika daba yando a rekodaba la croza va kadiba sante na makosa we charge over every ancient gate we charge over every roadblock we charge over every spiritual sabotage this evening. We declare that our prayers are rising up as a sweet fragrance, ready and pleasing unto the Lord this evening. We break through chains. We break through barricades. We break through every hard ceiling in the matchless name of Jesus. We break through every hindrance in the name of Jesus Christ azoka deva la braso kanima kante ne mekesa iraka da la base kadima nande ke dia shaka le vrase ke di bayanda father we declare that every need in the atmosphere it shall be met according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus we declare that every need in the atmosphere in the matchless name of Jesus the lord will meet in Jesus mighty and wonderful name eraka ziva antena mako sakadiva we speak deliverance grace over this broadcast izaka deva yande kadaba aronta na mayako zelekre di basake davaka ne mande kiria in the matchless name of jesus a release of your power a release of your anointing a release of the move of the holy ghost a release of your deliverance grace over this broadcast in the matchless name of jesus 
Azeke de Veyanda. Arika da Bayande Kadiba Saka de Bayande. Azante Nemeku Safraki da Bayando Kadiba Labraso Kadiba. Holy Spirit, you are welcome over prayer. Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, take your rightful seat. In the name of Jesus Christ, do that which the Father has sent you to do this evening. Ezante na makusa, areka da bayande kadiba, ezuka da valakrozi kadiba yante kanima saka. We welcome you. Take your rightful place of power. Take your rightful place of authority. Take your rightful place of anointing. Take your rightful place in this home. In the name of Jesus, azeke de bayan. Ande arika de balakosa kadiva antona makasa kadiva ya ke la krose kadiva yanda you are welcome Jesus over this virtual portal of prayer erande kala zovra kadiva yanda shift the atmosphere change lives over this broadcast change lives over this broadcast azoka arika de va kadin tanamako zevreke de ba Yante ne mesika, ela krozeka da bayande kadiba saka da yanda. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Ante na makusa vrakida bayako seke de ve yande ne mekusa. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are welcome. Ero talabra saka di bayan. Ante na makusa ke leve krese ke di bayande ke dia. In the matchless name of Jesus, you are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. You are holy. You are righteous. You are worthy. Mighty are the works of your hands, O oh Jesus. We bless your name this evening. We honor you, our reason king. There is none that is like you this evening. None that can be compared unto you. None that can be likened unto you. Receive great glory. Receive great honor. Receive great adoration in our midst this evening. In the matchless name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be lifted up, O oh Father, this evening. Take rulership, take authority, take power, take precedence over this live broadcast in the matchless name of Jesus. We lift you up high and we honor you. Oh, somebody just pour out on your love on Jesus this evening. Pour out your love on Jesus this evening. I need somebody with a testimony to just say, Father, you have been great and you have been kind this, this month. I just want you to celebrate Jesus. Tell him you have been good to me. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It might not have been your easiest of months, but I want you to just give glory to God. Father, I thank you that I've made it. Thank you that my family made it. We didn't think we would cross over, but Father, we thank you because here we are, not by, not by, not by the, the strength of man, but by the mercies of God. How excellent are you, O God, in all the earth. I need somebody that didn't know how this month was going to end. I need somebody to lift up their voice. I need somebody that says we didn't know how this month was going to pan out. But here we are still standing. That's right. Still standing. But by the grace of God. But by the grace of God. We honor you, King of glory. We adore you, mighty God. Majesty, sovereign God, all power belongs to you. And we have come to return it, return the glory, return the honor, return the praise back to you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen 
and amen and amen and amen. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're connecting from. Welcome to this virtual portal of prayer. My name is Melody and this is House of Hosting Heaven. You are welcome in our home. Please take sit the most convenient seat you can grab uh, and welcome to our crossover night this evening every single month end at the end of the month we spend the last few hours of the month in prayer we spend the last few uh, hours of the month in prayer and we just have made a commitment that we don't walk into the new month hello somebody we don't walk into the new month we, we step into the new month on our knees. Um, and so many of you, you are, uh, you know, you are regulars here. You have learned that you, you, you don't walk, you don't walk into a month. You, you, you kneel into a new month. Um, and so we have been doing this for a long time now. God has been so faithful every single month. We come here uh, at 9 p.m. on the last day of the month and we cross over into the new month together in prayer. We spend time in testimonies, we spend time in the word, and then we spend time in prayer. We apply intercessory pressure. We apply intercessory pressure into the new month. We make prophetic declarations, powerful declarations, potent declarations into the new month. So that as we step into the new month, we have already spoken to the new month. We have already, we have already commanded our month. And so welcome if you are new, uh, you are welcome in the house. Um, it's going to be an amazing time and you will find that it goes by so quickly. Some of you just bumped into this live broadcast, but I want to promise you it goes by so quickly. So I want you to stay connected. I, I, I don't want your mind to drift around. Just stay as connected as possible. And I believe that the Lord is going to really bless us this evening in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. Uh, we meet between 6.30 and 7.30 every single morning from Monday to Friday on a daily basis for morning prayer. So if you have been uh, yearning to grow in your prayer life and you've been saying, I wish I had a community that could help me on this uh, desire that I have on this journey I want to go on, you have just found your prayer family. We call ourselves prayer governors. We govern in the realm of prayer. We touch and agree. We stand at the gap and we intercede for our families um, in prayer in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. And on the 25th of every single month, we come together once again and we pray in the morning uh, for our salaries. So if you're in one of those seasons in your life where you're saying, you know, I really wish, I really wish my salary could do I, I, I need a miracle in my finances. You know, we, we just, we just consecrate our salaries, our incomes, uh, before the, uh, the throne of God. And we just believe him and we invite him into our finances. Uh, this would be on the 25th of every month. So you can either join us on a daily basis between 6.30 and 7.30 for our morning prayers. You can join us for our crossover night on the last day of every month between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. S.A.S.T. Or you can join us on the 25th of every month if you're just feeling like, you know what, I'll, I'm just going to start off by praying for my salary. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to I'm gonna try this God of yours. You can meet us on the 25th of every month right here on this virtual portal of prayer between 6.30 and 7.30. But tonight, tonight is our crossover night. And as many of you know, we start with testimonies. We start with our testimony time, uh, just testifying and giving glory to God over the month and how the Lord has been faithful uh, uh, throughout the month. So we want to hear some testimonies because the Bible says they over came uh, by the blood of the lamp and the word of their testimony. And so we believe that there is victory power that is released into the atmosphere when we begin to testify, when we begin to testify and, and speak about the things that the Lord has done um, and begin to speak about what God has been doing in our lives. And so I'm going to be taking a few uh, testimonies. Uh, we will have a, a few minutes of testimonies and then we're going to quickly get into the word and then we'll step into prayer. It will, it, it goes by to just stay in an atmosphere of prayer in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Congratulations, beautiful flower. 
How are you? Congratulations, congratulations to everyone who made it to this uh, service of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my word, I'm here, I'm here. Who, my melody? Hello, you are on it. You are part of the testimony, anyway. Now, wow, tell me about it, my melody. I just want to do the things in the right way. I just want to. I want to be that child of God. I want to tell you that somebody picked me in your platform. I'm someone's girlfriend from your platform. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So here we are praying and the man of God is opening up eyes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Women and uh, that is when we share testimonies. Testimonies and uh, some people are really, really listening. They just say we want someone like you in our life. We've been through maybe things that we just want you to actually um, activate something here in this family. So come, let's see what God has brought in our table in our family. And I pray that, like you know, on how things started. He just say that we want to be an open book. Mm. Can heaven just read us? Can heaven just know what we're doing, what we are up to, and what is there for us? Mm. We are laying this foundation. God, may you be the foundation of our relationship so that whatever that comes on top of us falls into the right foundation. Mm. So... so um, yeah, and in a very space, a, a short space of time, um, family already got to know each other. Wow. wow. <laughs> because we want things to be just open as it is. That's right. We want to learn each other, know each other on an open view for everybody to see who's, what God is doing in our life. That's right. I'm a mother of three. I'm stepping into uh, my husband, or who will be my husband in a very <laughs> few, few times, that because we already started talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then I just feel that um, we sometimes think, okay, we have already have these children in our life. Maybe we'll, we don't deserve to get married and all that. It's, God can turn and switch situation like that. I never thought, thought in my entire life that I would get married. And I just want you to know that you once prayed in the past, uh, like few days in this month, to say that pray for a godly spouse. That's right. Pray that at least the details of the things that you need in a relationship and put God into it. Mm. Then God will see on what to, to do, what needs to be done in your life and your partner's life. You shared on how you met your husband. You shared on how he will come and he will make coffee and take it to the gate. And we both listen. My, my partner and I, we listen. Right now is listening as I'm talking to you, sitting right in front of me. <laughs> Hello, <partner. laughs> Say hello to Pastor. Hello, thank you very much. It's wonderful, partner. Uh, we celebrate you in your lives. We thank you, Pastor. And then let me just give others the chances to testify as well. But I just want to tell you that um, the word of God says it all. Ask me and it shall be given to you. Um, and also I pray that whatever that we are doing, might know but you you guys who are in this already know better than us so we will ask whatever if he is that disturbing my soul pastor i'm gonna tell you i'm going to write on a wall <laughs> he mustn't come here and think he wants to use this platform for wrong thinkers this is an anointed platform and right. yeah i'm just going to tell you that your platform it is not just helping people to 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 know god only but in all areas of our life we have been built up we have been elevated into a different platform different areas in our works 
uh, places in our families and everything. It's really, really um, um, uplifting us. So thank you, thank you so much. You have found my husband. <laughs> Wow. We have a, we a prayer governors. Prayer governors. <laughs> is so meaning you need to pray a for a wedding. wedding. Some, some rice and some chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we celebrate what God is doing in your lives. And my we thank you. Your, your relationship is may God perfect that which he has begun in the name of thank Jesus you Christ. thank you yes in the name of jesus no no pain no crying uh -huh. no sorrows uh -huh. no struggles uh -huh. in wonderful name may god turn all your lamentations into into laughter and joy as a couple yes yes each other solace and places of rest no yes. no tears in jesus mighty and wonderful name and you are yes. so high. please please call me if you need me send me an email <laughs> send me your number i will definitely do that but congratulations 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 to i will definitely you. do that in jesus mighty and wonderful name amen thank amen. you pastor thank you amen You're welcome <laughs> wow 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 prayer governors listen somebody connect 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 to that grace hello somebody connects to that grace chosen one congratulations to you where are you connecting which part of the world are you connecting from and do share your testimony hello uh, somebody hello somebody hello listen. somebody listen i'm connecting from kruger's dog in johannesburg oh woman of god you do not know what you have done in my life wow you know, when every day when I listen to you, something happens, something changes, something shakes in my life. And I'm telling you, since I'm listening, I'm listening to you since December, there was a time that God said to me, I must be still and know. Hmm. You know, I don't know how I bumped onto your platform. I have no idea. But hmm. since the day I listened, oh my god my spiritual eyes open i could hear him speak mm. oh mm. you know i have i i i thank god that i came to a point where i could be still and know mm. i thank you i've connected so much so many of my cousins my friends to your platform and god is doing a wonderful time you know i always knew that i am called for a time such as this mm. i never knew that god is gonna call me at mm. this time and say this is your season this is your time come on thank you thank you, thank you. whenever i say wow. hello somebody my friends love i said i said hello somebody god is good and i pray that god may enlarge your territory Amen. may he give you grace upon grace upon grace because you know what you have saved so many souls you have given us so many times that we can come back to god and listen and just sit at his feet and when you speak we listen may god bless you may god bless Thank you, you so much may god oh bless wow you. Oh, i'm wow. encouraged hello somebody hello somebody <laughs> and may you continue to grow in lips and oh, bounds in your you. love for the lord oh. in jesus name and may that hunger that you are feeling for the lord let oh, it grow even deeper you. In I Jesus' mighty name, may he continue to feed you with a oh. hunger for him. In oh. Jesus' mighty and wonderful Thank name. So Congratulations, somebody. So that was such a beautiful testimony. Oh. I'm so, so encouraged. Mm. Thank you so much. And please say hi to your friends for me. Tell them <laughs> They are them. on here. Oh, they are listening. They are, they are here. I've already told them, yay. Yes, ma you know, you'll see me on Facebook, on WhatsApp. I invite everybody. Oh, wow. I'm encouraged. I'm so encouraged. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Congratulations. And I pray that you have an amazing time tonight over Cross. I, will. I am already having it. Thanks so Amen. much. Amen. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful testimony. What a beautiful, beautiful testimony. Ah, what a beautiful testimony. All right. So that guest has gone offline. Let's get another one.
Let's get another one. Somebody just stay in an atmosphere of prayer. We're getting ready to cross over tonight. I just want somebody's um, spirit to get excited about overcome by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. So coming right now, someone's faith is rising as, as we're listening to these testimonies. Congratulations, where are you connecting from? And do share your testimony with us. Congratulations, Esther, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, congratulations. Hello. Where are you connecting from, Esther? And uh, do share your testimony with us. Hi, I'm connecting from, from Zambia. Wonderful, wonderful. Hello, wonderful can you get me? Yeah, we can, we can hear you, Esther. Do share your testimony with us. Well, I, I would just love to thank God for, for using you so mightily. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I came across your channel. Mm. Ever since uh, you've been posting, I, I follow you and I can, I can only attest to say I am really uplifted. I had so much going on in my life and I didn't know what to do. But ever since you, I was introduced to your channel, most of the sermons that you post are really uplifting. I think there was a time I was going through some kind of depression and you you preached on uh, something to do with the power of confrontation mm. especially in um, in my in my in my workplace corporate as you put it yes so the, there has been a lot of tension uh, with uh, with one lady that apparently is uh, my supervisor so she's uh, she's been on our on our case in our department so it's like everybody else has that fear of confronting her but mm -hmm. through the messages and the encouraging words and examples from people in the bible who can confront their giant mm -hmm. so i i I actually, I can, I can only say it was God's grace that I was able to have that courage and say, no, we must put up to this and it must come to an end. So was it last week on Friday? And um, I actually called for a meeting with her, surprisingly enough, and everybody was like, how, how, how do you call a boss and start talking about such issues? And I'm like, no. This woman is not going to know uh, about how people are complaining about how she's doing her delegations and everything. So mm -hmm. we called for a meeting, we sat, and we had that confrontation. And I can, I can tell you just that boldness that I had, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yes, like. I, I had that boldness to really face all my fears and not just in that um, area of my life. Mm -hmm. And in so many areas of my life, I, I'm having that boldness to begin to face all, all of my fears and in my finances. Mm -hmm. I can see how things are beginning to take shape and I'm like, God, I'm really grateful for what you are doing in this woman mm -hmm. and in the lives of many. She's, yeah. she's an encouragement to everyone. May you continue causing your face to shine upon her. Yeah. I am very, very grateful. So each day I'm looking forward to um, the sermons that you post. They are very uplifting. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, most of the sermons that you, you post speak directly to my, to my soul. So... Before I was introduced to your channel, I would be depressed and all sorts of things. But mm -hmm. I know I, I, would, I would go through things, you know, through this journey of life. But each time I switch to your channel and listen to your sermons, I am very encouraged. So please keep up doing the, uh, the word of God and encouraging other people 
You are really a blessing. Thank you so, so, so very much. I am so encouraged, Esther. <laughs> Thank you so much for that powerful encouragement. <laughs> and I think you're you're also even um you're you're either talking about a, a test. Uh, it was a sermon about confronting your pharaohs, or mm -hmm. it was, it was, uh, uh, there was another sermon also about having difficult conversations. And we're talking about how yes. you're a grown person and you you haven't had difficult conversations. You are not yet grown. Yeah, right. difficult conversations are <laughs> exactly. part of a grown person's life, and a exactly. lot of times we have grown people and they don't know how to have difficult conversations. That's why they're constantly mm. coming out of relationships. That's why mm. you you are in your fourth marriage because you don't know how to have a difficult conversation. But grown people exactly have grown conversations Con and they learn exactly. how to navigate around those conversations. So congratulations to you for that boldness that you caught from that prayer. Uh, mm. from from that time of prayer and may the lord continue to cause you to ascend in corporate because of that proactiveness sitting with your mm. supervisor let, mm. it, let it be received as an ability to lead let it be received uh, as a bold and courageous heart in jesus mighty name and may it begin to open up doors for you in corporate amen wonderful name i prophetically declare it over your life amen uh, you with the testimony congratulations thank you god bless you so very much Thank you so much. Uh, there's nothing as beautiful as hearing somebody that is working the word. The word works. I, I, I don't work. The word works. Hello, somebody. I, I, I'm not the one that works. It is the word that works in your life. Um, so congratulations to everybody that's taking the word that we minister, taking the word and putting it to work because the word indeed is truly working. Thank you so much, Piwa, who is our subscriber. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I appreciate you, our new subscriber. Changera, congratulations. Let me know where you're connecting from today and do share your testimony. I'm connecting from Florida. Hello, woman of God. I, How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just joining to share my testimony. Mm. How you know, um, God, He really used you. He has been using you as it relates to you know my life over a period of time now. But since recently, I can remember you did. The Lord is my shepherd. Mm. Yes. So uh, that night I was listening and I got a confirmation. I started dating this gentleman, but woman of God, the man that I'm praying for, he's really sweet, but I'm like, oh my God, this is not what I'm praying for, you know? So I'm like, okay, let me give it a try. But I felt as though I was being desperate, mm. even though he's a, a nice guy but i know what i'm praying for i'm not seeing the qualities that i desire so i think that being in a relationship dating this man i would be settling you know mm -hmm. so um listening to you that night i i got like a confirmation from your word you were saying that you know a lot of you you're in relationships and you know you, you, you're being desperate because you know that's not what you want or what the lord want for you but the lord is your shepherd because of certain things why you settle her. and i'm like oh my god but even though i got that as a confirmation it's as if i'm like okay i needed another one i, I still i was still you know going along with it going along with it and I felt it's like I am not comfortable dating. I'm not comfortable dating because I know deep down something is nudging me like this is not what you're praying for. But because you know, you have the, you're desperate. I'm like, okay, what if I, I push this person away and he was the one? What if God can use me to convert this person? I started thinking all sorts of stuff. Mm. And then the other night I was listening to you again, you came back and you were talking about the job that you were going to take mm. at, at the rum, I think it was a rum factory. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God, what more confirmation do I need? And it's like something is just saying to me now, are you willing to go that low? Don't you believe that I can provide that kingdom spouse that you are believing for? Don't you believe that, you know, I can give you that kingdom family that you've been praying for? Are you willing to just settle? Are you willing to go that low? And I'm like, okay, I need, I, I can't do this anymore. I have to stop because it's as if I'm willing to settle because I'm fearful that I might miss that person i might miss our god cannot provide what i'm praying for and god has been so good 
Yeah. He has been so good to me. And I, I had to repent for, you know, not for being from being impatient. I have to be re mm -hmm. repenting from, you know, not trusting him enough from wavering because at times the devil uses our weaknesses or what we desire for mm -hmm. us to, to he, he plays on the things that he sees that we really want, you know. So, woman of God, I'm so grateful for you because even though praying mm -hmm. for the spirit of discernment, at times we, we are not quick to discern, but we know, we can tell deep within when God is yeah. telling us, okay, this is not it. This is, I'm really happy to be a part of this prior governor, uh, your, your mm -hmm. online portal. It has been a blessing. And I know mm -hmm. that God used you to confirm with me just to say, not mm -hmm. yet, not yet. Wow. So that's my testimony. I'm so encouraged and congratulations to you for laying that relationship before God, you know, yeah. placing that relationship in God's hands. Um, it, it takes a lot of obedience, it takes a lot yeah. of obedience, especially if you're in a season where you're feeling like maybe I'm late or what if this is the last bus on the road? Yeah. You know, sometimes so, we can feel like that uh, so and, and, and to be able to, to obey God and to be able to not suppress the office of the Holy Spirit when he is impressing upon your spirit, when he's nudging you, when he's telling you, you what you prayed for is not what you have in front of you, when he is reminding you of the prayers you made. You know, when the Holy Spirit is still reminding you of the prayers you've made, uh, he's still, you know, your his office in your life is still very, very active. And I pray that you continue mm -hmm. to obey. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. not going to be convenient. Sometimes it's going to be difficult. Sometimes it will lead you on a road which might be temporarily lonely. But I promise you, what you don't miss with is marriage. One thing you don't want to miss with is is is, is your lifetime commitment. And it is mm -hmm. it is worth your wait. It is mm -hmm. worth it is worth your obedience. It is worth you trusting God. So mm -hmm. I really, really want to congratulate you for for that Thank obedience in you. Jesus' you. mighty and wonderful name. And I pray that as room has been opened up in your life, may the Lord begin to cause you to gravitate towards your kingdom spouse in the matchless mm -hmm. name of Jesus Christ. May there be no delays mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name, no disappointments in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Amen and amen. amen. Congratulations you, to you. Thank Congratulations you. to you. Oh, what a beautiful testimony. Such a beautiful, beautiful testimony. I just want to pray for singles on this broadcast. I know the journey might be difficult. It's a, it's a difficult journey to wait on God. It's a difficult journey sometimes to just be patient and trust him. It's a difficult journey to obey sometimes when you know for a fact you know for a fact that the, the route you're going is it ain't where god wants you to be but hey you know it'll do for now but i just pray in the name of jesus that the lord will begin to give you patience on your journey and i pray in jesus mighty name that god will give you uh, the, the waiting stamina that is required because trust me this is one decision you never want to miss on it's the decision it's it's one of the greatest decisions of your life i remember um, i remember a, a couple of weeks ago we were doing some recordings uh for our hosting heaven podcast and my husband works so uh, both of us work from home uh, and so he's able to work from anywhere so he drove me over to the podcast and he was working in one corner of the studio and i was filming on one corner of the studio and when we're done he drives us back home and as we step you know as, as our car drives into the garage we just look at each other and i'm like thank you so much babe um and he says most welcome you know like obviously like this is what i would do but that it's not obvious that the person you're doing life with is going to walk your path and walk your journey with you and support you and i remember just like we just stared at each other three seconds longer than usual and i just said i just said uh, in that moment uh marry right and the rest and the rest will fall into place and he said definitely and we walked out of the car it was such a beautiful moment so that is my advice to singles here. Marry right and the rest will fall into place. 
marry right and the rest will fall into place so i just speak a blessing over every um every single person on this broadcast may god give you spiritual stamina to wait to wait on him i'm gonna grab a couple of more people to testify and we're about to step into the word so i just want you to begin to pray and get your heart ready and excited for the word of god congratulations miss Vuyelua. where are you connecting from and do share your testimony with us uh miss Vuyelua, are you here Uh, Miss Vielwa, are you here? All right, Miss Vielwa is not here. We are going to get somebody else. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, that guest has already gone offline. Let's see if we can get Whitney on here. Thank you, Jesus hallelujah thank you king of glory we bless your name uh Winfrey, congratulations where are you connecting from and do share your testimony with us for this month winfrey are you here yes yes hi Hello, somebody. How are you doing, somebody? It's wonderful to have you here, Winfrey. Congratulations. Which part of the world Thank are you, you connecting Melody. from? And, and share your testimony with us. I am connecting from Kenya. And um, I just. Yes, want we to... can hear you. You can go ahead. I just want to share my testimony. Amazing, amazing. Today. Wonderful. The God reunited uh, my relationship with my sister. Mm. We had not been speaking in like nine months and we had a very strained relationship. Wow. And yesterday we just felt a pull, a push and pull mm. to just talk to each other. And we were breaking down trying to really get to the bottom of what really happened and why we why we went separate ways mm -hmm. and i just thank god that she really reassured me that she will always be there for me and that i should always stand on the word of god and i've been having such a hard time lately having no one to talk to mm -hmm. But when I was able to talk to her, I just felt the presence of God saying and that I could always count on her and I can always count on God to to come through in every situation. Mm. Yeah, so right, right now I'm trusting God for a job. It's been a bit hard. But when tapping in and listening to to your prayers, it's it speaks life to me through the word of God. It encourages me to continue to keep going on and to just trust that God will do it. Honors his word above his name and that which he speaks over my life will surely come to pass. that's that's my testimony today mm -hmm. Jesus might name amen Manny, man, congratulations, congratulations to you and your sister. The Bible says he's made us his powerful. And the Bible says he has made us ministers of reconciliation and well done for reaching out 
um, to your sister. And uh, I thank God that he has reunited you somebody in the comment section as you were as you were testifying said i haven't spoken to my sister in 10 years this is the reality of some people on this broadcast you are living in uh relationships and, and i mean this is your sister this is a destiny defining relationship uh, may the Lord begin to mend relationships on this broadcast in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Um, there is no reason why you shouldn't be talking to your own blood, flesh and blood. We don't get, we don't get, we, we don't always get perfect siblings, but we get siblings. And if we have siblings, um, to be able to do life with them is a blessing. So congratulations to you, Winfrey, for reaching out, uh, for letting down your ego, letting down your pride, um, and deciding to reach out because surely you've been rewarded for it. Uh, so congratulations to you. We we'll celebrate with you and anybody else on this broadcast who is struggling mm -hmm. with a family relationship that is strained i want you to touch and agree um uh, 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 with this testimony and just trust god for your circumstances as well and we're trusting god with you in jesus mighty and wonderful name that the lord will restore Amen. amen and amen and Whitney uh Winfrey we're actually trusting God with you for uh for a job uh, um, in Jesus mighty and wonderful name may the Lord truly perfect all things concerning your life amen and amen yes congratulations anonymous let us know your name where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us oh hi Melody my name is Fiona I'm connecting from UK um, I've, I've, I didn't come here actually to tell you my testimony, but I'm just going to tell you what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. So I saw your TikTok and then I started following you and I started praying with you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a girl who is 24 years old, who was born with HIV. And mm -hmm. I, I lived for 17 years without taking any medication. And then, mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. And then... God kept me for 17 years without any medication and then I had stress. That's when I had herbs and then I took the medication. I started taking the medication. I relocated to the UK um, mm -hmm. and I started encouraging other girls in there is a group that I'm in on WhatsApp. I started encouraging other girls to pray and not to give up because I am a girl who lived for 17 years with HIV. So I have been telling them to trust in the Lord, to believe in the Lord. And since I started praying your prayers around four, this year, mm -hmm. I don't want to lie, hasn't been a good year. I relocated mm -hmm. to the UK. I don't have a family here in UK. Um, the last born. So January, I lost my document. Um, the government said, uh, the post office said, we can't, uh, we can't give you back your documents. If they are lost, they are lost. And then I had to redo the process. That was January. And then February, I was sick for two weeks. I had no one to talk to. My family wasn't here. My mom wasn't here. I asked God, God, there's a lot of people are, are coming to me and asking me because I shared my story about HIV and I told girls not to give up on God and to keep on trusting God. And I was asking God why. And I was in a relationship and mm -hmm. those guys, they just broke up with me. But they, he just broke up with me because um, I said, I'm not going to have sex with you and said, oh, it's OK, I'm going to break up with you. And I've been going through a lot at work. Sometimes people will just say a lot of things. My money will not be enough. A lot has been going on and I'm asking God, why is this happening to me? I serve in your house. I pay rent at your house. I'm not even in Zimbabwe, but I'm paying rent 
so that people will go to church. I did, I, when I started going to this church, we had no pulpit. I bought pulpit in your church using my own money. I was 21. Why are you not seeing me? Why are you doing this to me? I come here, I'm staying here. A lot has been going on. Why is this happening to me? And I said to God, I'm trusting, I'm telling other, other people to trust you, to have faith in you. And my faith and my trust in you is being shaken and is being tested. And even if I'm to tell my family, no one understands what I'm going through. And the more I pray, when I'm sleeping, I'm even scared to sleep at night because I'm, I'll be sleeping with a lot of men who I'll be sleeping with during the night. And sometimes I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I wake up, I would pray around three. I would wake up, I would pray with you around four, but things haven't been just going well with you. So I've been asking God and I said, God, I'm really angry with you. I don't know what to do. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, sometimes I'll be pregnant. And sometimes I would dream of other people who are dead already. And I'm like, God, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? When I go to church, I save in the house of the Lord. I do a lot. Those people who are not praying, they don't face a lot. Why am I going through this? And I'm only 24. Why do I deserve this? It's just something that I, I couldn't hold. I try to pray sometimes. I'll just say, God, I'm angry. I don't know what to say. It's been a tough journey for me this year. I, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm sorry for the long, taking your long. Not at all. Not at all. Um, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer governors, I just want us to touch and agree as a collective and pray for our sister. I'm going to need to talk to you. So I want you to send me an email and I want us to set up a call. Right. So I'm going to I'm going to talk to you and then I'm, I'm going to call. I'm going to call you and, and we're going to talk. But right now I want 685 of us to just stretch out our voices in prayer and begin to pray for this woman. Um, as, as this, 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 this girl that has done, that has been serving the Lord and she, and, and her story is a story of many people that have, that have been serving the Lord, that have done the best they can, that have been faithful in the house around you. And it doesn't, things don't make sense. Yeah. Things are not adding up. I want, I want us to begin to pray. Um, and if I have Rachel on this broadcast, I, if Rachel, I want you to request to pray um because i want you to conclude this prayer rachel if you're here please send me an invite but from wherever you are begin to connect and begin to just pray for this woman i want you to just lift up your faith and send 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 a prayer for her um uh, uh, you said your name is fiona her name is fiona i just want you to pray lord any resistance in the spirit pertaining to her life let it be broken any chains in the spirit pertaining to her life let them be broken any spiritual sabotage in the in her life let it be broken in the name of jesus any altar working against her right now let it begin to scatter in the name of jesus wherever her name is whatever ill words have been spoken over her name father in the name of jesus we touch her agree we begin to lift up our voices in prayer we begin to touch and agree and declare over her life we speak the blessing of the lord that maketh rich and adds no sorrow in the matchless name of jesus we declare that our time of lamentation is finished her time of crying is finished in the name right now father we begin to separate her from perpetual disadvantage right now we begin to separate her from any evil outer we begin to separate her from any power any principality any high thing that has been exalted over her life that causes her to leave a uh, leave a life of crying a life of tears a life of pain a life of little a life of lack in the name of jesus christ father for every seed that she has ever planted into your house i pray that let this be the season for recompense let the, this be a season of restoration this let this be the season in which she shall be rewarded in the matchless name of jesus right now father we begin to break every resistance in the spirit pertaining to her life we cry out for the mercy of the lord to locate her in the name of jesus christ we cry out for the mercy of the lord to locate her in the matchless name of jesus 
Jesus Christ, right now I speak breakthrough anointing over her life. Breakthrough in every area where she has been facing resistance. Breakthrough in every area where she has been facing resistance. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Father, I thank you. I thank you that her life will be a living testimony of what God can do with the man. I thank you, King of Glory, that these days uh, shall be days of testimony. These stories shall be stories of testimony. In Jesus' name, of a life restored, of a life recompensed, of a life revived. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, remember her. Father, we, we apply intercessory pressure and we lift up our voices to you and we cry out for this life. In Jesus' mighty, 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 miracle working, wonderful name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Father, we thank you. Thank Father, you. we thank you. All right. Rachel is not here. Um, I, I want you to send me a message. I want to I want to set up a call with you and I want us to talk. Is that all right? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, I, do, I don't want you to give up. You're, you're, you are not the kind of person that gives up. That's not how God made you <laughs> at all. That's that that's not who you are at all. And this is not this is not the time to give up. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. This is this, this is not the time to give up. So I'm gonna talk to you. Um Rachel, I just want you to pray for this uh for this uh lady. So I'm gonna invite you. Um I wanted you to just pray. I want you I wanted you to just pray for her. Uh I don't know if you heard a story, I don't know if you were here uh rachel um i just want you to just good pray. evening good evening woman of god good evening good evening rachel i just want you to pray i want you to pray for our sister here uh she's she's been going through a lot in life and i'm going to set up a call with her and i'm going to um stand at the gap and intercede with her and just encourage her but today we just prayed with her as a a collective of prayer and we touched and agreed with her uh, that god will br bring breakthrough into her into her life i don't know if you heard a testimony but she's struggling in the area of health struggling in the area of finances she's struggling in the area of relationships it seems like her life is upside down at the moment but i just want you to speak a word over her in jesus name uh, i want you to just speak a word of blessing and just begin and, and just release a, a, a blessing over her um would you do that for us i'll just give you a couple of minutes as we as we are rounding up uh praying for her amen and amen amen shalom prayer governors shalom woman of god I want to thank God for this opportunity and Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we stand in agreement, O oh God Almighty, as your children, Father God. Jesus started with prayers and he ended with prayers. Father, we agree, O oh God, in the life of our sister, that Father, God Almighty, as she trusts and believes in you, Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose again. Father, I speak a word that as today we are celebrating, O oh God, the day that you resurrected, may everything that died in the life of our sister be resurrected today in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak from her, from from every area of her life where she's looking for help is it healthy is it finances is it job is it relationship today let there be life let those dry bones be, begin to live again in her life in the wonderful name of jesus we speak in agreement God Almighty, I've never seen you disappoint me. I've never seen you disappoint us, oh God. Father, I speak a word and I decree a word that Lord God Almighty, you'll surprise your daughter. From today, her life shall never be the same again in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Father, reach her at this point of need. Father God, as some other people are testifying in this platform, her case is not exceptional. Her case is not different, oh God. She is your child, Father. Father, reach her at 
every point where she needs you. Show up that you are God. Father Lord, I pray that she shall come back and testify, O oh God. As today we are here gathering, O oh God, and we are speaking over her life. So shall it be in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory, for you are God. You are unchangeable. You are reliable. You are forever present, oh, Father God. Father Lord, let your mercy and grace reign today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen and amen. Rachel, thank you so very much. Um, sis, I want you to send me a message um, soon after this broadcast. Just send me an email. Woman of God, I'm ready for the call. Let's set up a call and I want to talk to you um, uh, and I want to pray with you. Amen. Okay, thank you. Amen. Stay, stay encouraged, sis. Um, you have already, you have already there's you've already fought so many battles this is this is going to be the least of your of your battles it's a it's a season of testing it's a season of contending but you 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 will have the fabric that is required uh, to thrive over this season so uh please please send me a message and i'll just i'll, I'll chat to you over call congratulations to you i want you to receive that thank by faith you. amen I receive. amen thank amen. you amen amen Ah, Father, we thank you. We just want to thank you so much, King of Glory. I see there's still a lot of testimonies here. Maybe let's just get one more and then let's quickly step into the word because we're about to spend some time in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. King of Glory. Uh, congratulations, the daily prayer. How are you? Let me know where you're connecting from. What's your name? And do share your testimony with us. Hi. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Yes, my name is Norm Claire. I'm from Johannesburg. Um, I have been following your um, TikTok for about two months now. And I think today I just wanted to testify about God's glory and just his grace um, and being able to connect on another level. Um, as you see, my name is not my name on my TikTok. It's the daily prayer. Um, God yeah. put in my spirit uh, a few months ago that I need to open up a YouTube channel and I need to put on a TikTok channel and I need to be able to spread the word and I haven't been consistent with it but I also feel like he created a community for me um, through you to be able to come and speak to well listen to your prayers on every morning and just being able to connect on, um, on a deeper level um, I want to say your prayers are absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Um, they are so uplifting. I come from a very dark space. I was married and um, in my marriage, it was at a very, I, I don't wanna get emotional, but it was very toxic to the point where we were conflicting on a spiritual level in our own home. Um, and eventually God said to me that this man will leave my house. Um, and just to put into context, I never had my period for about a full year um, with this man being in my house. I would have pains, I'd have nightmares, I would have horrible, horrible things happen to me. People would just hate me for absolutely no reason. And I think when I reached out to God, just to show how merciful and gracious our God is, um, he pulled me out of that situation. Um, and in that, when I got closer to God and I said to God, I need your assistance to come back to the kingdom of heaven because we move away because of marriage. We move away because of relationships. Um, he brought me back. And when I was able to come back, I've never felt so alive. I felt mm -hmm. like my soul had died um, in that situation. Um, I have a son with this man and... After I had my son, everything just went like haywire. It was horrible. I thought I had cancer at one point in my life. I thought I was going to die. I had suicidal thoughts. I was in and out of um, psychiatric hospitals. Um, I was fighting with this man on a constant level, but it was my spirit fighting that I shouldn't be in the space with this person. Um, and end of last year, 
we separated around June, end of last year. I just started giving myself to God in the comfort of my home. Um, and um, December, he said to me, you need to find community. You need to find people that you can actually share your testimony, share your, share your prayers with. And I opened up my TikTok channel and I started just writing prayers and trying to relay the word of God. But luckily it drew me closer to you and being able to just listen. Your prayers have absolutely been so phenomenal. You are truly a righteous woman of God where I have had four to five interviews ever since I've been listening to your prayers. My life has done a 365 degree turn Financially, this man told me I would never survive without him. I've been able to maintain my home, my car, my child with the grace of God. Um, sometimes it's not always, um, I don't want to ramble, but sometimes it's not always the way we want it to be, but just to show that God is faithful. Um, and when he said to me, I needed community, and it, it happened to be, um, on a social media platform such as yours, my sister. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for allowing thousands of us. I, I can sit on a, on, a, on a live and see that there's thousands of us that are listening to just hearing you pray and interceding on our lives. You don't know how much you've done um, in a lot of people's lives. It's absolutely been um, tremendous help. I went to church this week, finally, after a few months of contending with myself. I went to church Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I just want to say that the glory of God is within us. And you are doing absolutely phenomenal work. You are truly interceding and standing in the place between your being our third man to be able to speak to God. And sometimes we don't have the words. We don't have the ability. We don't have but just the prayers you have, speaking of our salaries, speaking of our families, um, speaking of generational curses, um, just to also just relay, I went to the doctor and ever since that man has left my house and I prayed to God and I got on my knees and I said, God, I am so sorry for all my sins. I have had my period or I've had not to be explicit, but I've been healthy ever since. I have not had a headache. I used to have continuous headaches. I've been healthy. Um, I went to the doctor. Everything is okay. I had fibro. I had fibroids when he was living with me. Now they're gone. Not to say that he is the main influence, but sometimes you can be put in a marriage or put in a situation where you went without God's intervention. You went on your own accord. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for interceding on behalf of a lot of us. You don't understand um, the grace that God has blessed you with a mouthpiece that is able to help so much, so many of us. We don't always have the words and we don't always have the capabilities to be able to speak to God. And you've just really been so helpful. Just listening to you really uplifts a lot of us. And I just wanted to say thank you. Oh man, what, a, what an amazing testimony um the blood spoke of the the blood of jesus in your life to things than any other blood any other altar that was contending against you and we're so excited for you we're so excited for your testimony for me the fact that you got your period back when you got out of this um relationship when you got out of this marriage that's 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 wild to me uh, congratulations. I know grief is still grief. It is still painful and you have to go through a season of healing. Uh, but thank God. Thank God that you made that call. Thank God that you made that decision. Thank God that he rescued you uh, out of the situation that you were in. Um, and I'm so encouraged by your words. It gives me great hope to know that there are people whose lives are turning around because there is just there's just an altar that's burning with prayer you know there's nothing much we're just but conduits we're just but messengers we come here we show up and god does the work and so i want to also encourage you because you know as you were speaking i i felt as though there was an assignment and an attack over your life to abort your destiny and so there is a reason why god has brought you here on TikTok, and i don't want you to sleep on what god is doing in your life I want you to begin to lift up your voice, lift up the sound of your voice and begin to put the devil on the run. 
<laughs> That's the best way I can say it. Put the devil on the to let me tell you something there is an audience that is yours whether it's two people at the moment on your platform i don't know how many people follow you on your platform but i want you to start becoming faithful in seeding in seeding the word of god into them in sowing prayer into them you, you are not here by chance your, your platform is not called the daily prayer by chance i want it, it will not be by might it will not be by power this is what i hear the holy spirit saying concerning you but it will be by the spirit of god you might say maybe mm -hmm. i don't even have the right words to say right now trust me we, we sometimes we come here we sit here we have we have no words to say and he says open up your mouth and i will fill it and that is my prophetic declaration to you that the lord is going to as you open up your mouth the lord is going to fill it and the lord is going to use you so i want you to stand in line because i'm sensing that there was a heavy attack over your over your mm -hmm. assignment this 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 was not about you girl this 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 ain't about you at all <laughs> this ain't about you this is bigger than you it is about your assignment it is about your destiny and god sent you on tiktok for a reason and i know right now you have been feeding i know right now you have been sowing you have, you have been you have been you have been you have been you have been, you have been drawing from this platform hello somebody I, I know you've been drawing but it is it is now time for you to open up your mouth so god can fill it in jesus mighty and wonderful name and i i dare you this evening to catch audacity and to also begin to walk in your own god-given assignment in the matchless name of jesus christ we are safest when we're walking in purpose and assignment the moment you're not walking in purpose and assignment there is a certain covering over your life that is missing but when you're working in purpose and assignment it could be difficult it could be frustrating it has its own challenges but there is an there is a covering over your life so i want you from today on us to begin to, to to start working out your assignment i don't know if you heard me i heard you and i'm shaking because i was at church today and um the holy spirit said to me but i've showed you where you are going to be and you keep right. on running away from what I have called you to do. And mm. I think it's and, and, and I think to be very honest, I think a lot of women can can I testify, you lose a lot of yourself when you attach yourself to a man that is not destined to lead you in mm -hmm. the spiritual level. Right. And I hear you, I accept, I'm gonna go head on. My soul is hungry to fulfill mm. the destiny of what God's kingdom wants. Um, I, I know nothing happens by accident, nothing happens by chance. And I really appreciate that. That was just like a stamp of approval to say, Holy Spirit is not giving me a physical human being because I'm mm. <laughs> I think we're all very stubborn. We don't listen when God gives you that first word to push you. Um, and I'm literally shaking because that is absolutely what the Holy Spirit has been putting in my spirit, that I have a platform and I can and I will and I have all the capabilities to speak the word of God. Jesus I really Lord. appreciate that. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. And I just want to, I just want everybody on this platform to just pray for her. Just take 30 seconds to pray for her. Just take 30 seconds to pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, this prayer, release her in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. Any Anything that had been holding her back, any fears, any insecurities, any limitations, anything that had been standing in the way of her in a God-given assignment right now in the name of Jesus, we touch and agree that the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage is breaking any chain that was still holding her captive and gagging her, her tongue so that she does not declare the word of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you that you are raising her, raising her as a woman of prayer. Thank you that you are raising her to also stand and to begin to do the work of the Lord. In Jesus' name, you will give her the right words to say. You will give her the right words to say. You will give her the right words to say. She needs not be afraid. And so, Father, we thank you and we honor you this evening. And we just touch and agree with her, Father. And we just touch, touch and agree with her that, Father, she's going out in faith and she is covered. She is protected she is shielded 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus over her. No weapon fashioned against her shall prosper. We thank you, King of glory, that you contended on her behalf and your mercy made sure that her destiny was not aborted. As she is in this season, I pray for a full manifestation of the gifts of God over her life. No intimidation, no fear, no limitations, no self-worth either this mighty name uh, 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 rise up strong in her and begin to send her out to do that which you have already assigned her to do in jesus mighty and wonderful name we pray amen and amen and amen congratulations sis congratulations as you're stepping into this new month i want you to put the devil on the run uh, I, 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 he's not your friend I, I'm sure you know already. He's not your friend. <laughs> Give him a run for his money. Congratulations to you. All right. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak. Man, indeed, man. You're most welcome, sis. God bless you so much. Uh, a prayer governors there's so many testimonies but we have to get into the word it's 22 30 we don't have a lot of time to, to 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 step into the word at the moment so i'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible so that we can get into a time of prayer because we have uh some prayer points for tonight um prayer governors uh, the lord um gave me a word today and i want us to turn into the book of luke chapter 2 verse 39 to 52 and i just want to read a story but the, the the word that I'm sensing for this this coming month, uh, and the direction that I really believe that the Lord is just leading us in this month of April, uh, it is a month of distinct value, a month of distinct value, and it's gonna make sense in a bit. The value that many of you have been carrying. And this is the month where God begins to place a spotlight on that value. Hello, somebody. I'm seeing people receiving visibility on the value over their life. I'm seeing people receiving visibility in places where they were obscure. I saw in the realms of the spirit, people receiving visibility in things that they were already good at. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Things that they were already doing. It's like some of you, you're in corporate and, and there's certain things that you were doing, but nobody was noticing. But I heard the Lord say, this is the month of distinct value. And, and this is the month where, where, where we are going to begin to see the value over your life. Truly do what it has been sent on assignment to do in your life in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. I'm seeing a, a vision coming to that, to, that, to that value. I'm seeing visibility come to that value. I'm seeing it becoming defined in such a way that people will begin to also recognize it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And some of you have been saying, I'm young, but the Lord says, I don't care about the age. Some of you have been saying, I'm, I'm ill-experienced, but the Lord says, I don't care about the amount of time you've been in ministry or the amount of time you've been in corporate. There is value over your life. And it seems as though in the month of April, God is raising a unique atmosphere for value to begin to be recognized in the places of assignment. In destiny-defining moments, your value shall be appreciated and it shall be recognized god is calling out some people this evening wh whose value had been it's almost as though your, your value had been hidden intentionally the value that you bring to projects at work the value you bring to the table uh, uh, during meetings uh, 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 it's almost as though there was an undermining of value that god has already given you but i'm sensing that in this season in this month this is going to be the month of distinct value it's going to begin to make sense in a moment i want us to step into the word of god luke chapter 2 verse 39 to 52 we are going to read the story of jesus christ and he's still a young boy i want you to understand something about the context of this text we are we are, we are meeting jesus as a boy we are meeting jesus as a young boy he has not even started manifesting in the in the fullness and the dimensions of his gifting but he is so young but even while he is young the lord already begins to slowly announce his value to the people surrounding him the bible says in the book of luke chapter 2 verse 39 i need somebody to type luke chapter 2 verse 39 to 52 and just type the title which is the month of distinction uh, the month of distinct value and I'll also just pin it when I see it. The Bible says when Jesus' parents had, go, had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. 
And the Bible says in verse 40, as the child grew, he became strong and he was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. So three things began to happen to Jesus. He grew and as he was growing, he became strong. He was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. So we are already looking at a very, a very unique uh, uh, uh. A, 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 a child we are looking at a child who is distinguished we are looking at a child who is set apart a child who is growing in 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 wisdom even at a young age so he, he 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 had value he had value that he he could give to the community now i want you to watch what god begins to do in jesus life the bible says in the book of verse 41 every year his parents went to jerusalem for the feast of the passover and when he was 12 years old just 12 years old the bible says that they went up according to the custom of the feast so they go to uh, 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 the feast of the passover with this young boy who is growing and he is becoming strong he is filled with wisdom and the grace of the lord is upon him verse 43 says when those days were over and and they returned and they and they were returning home the boy jesus remained behind in jerusalem but his parents were unaware he had stayed assuming he was with their com with their company they traveled on for a day before they began to look for him among their relatives and friends when they could not find him they returned to jerusalem to search for him Finally, after three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers. This is a 12-year-old uh, boy. The Bible says he was sitting among uh, teachers of the law, uh, 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 leaders of the synagogue. The Bible says he was sitting amongst the teachers listening to them and asking them questions and the bible says and they and all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers my goodness at the age of 12 jesus already begins to a, a, a manifest great value that was in the inside of him the bible says in secret he had been growing in wisdom he had been growing in strength and he had been growing in the grace of god some of you this evening i am sent an assignment to tell you that there's been things that have been happening in the secret place uh there has been there has been stretching that has been happening in the secret place I'm sent in a summon to tell you that there is wisdom that has been growing in the secret place. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, the grace of God has been growing in your life, but you have been in the secret place. You have been in a place that is hidden. Uh, you have been in, in a place that is You have been in a place uh, where there hasn't been much visibility. You, 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 you have been in a place where many people don't see you. You have been in a place where many opportunities are not you have been concealed you have been in a place where god has been intentionally concealing you but it does not mean that you have not been growing ah yeah 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 it does not mean that you have have not been growing it's it's as though you are in a season where you are disguised it is though as though you are you are you are in a season where there is a cloak that has been placed over you and you are veiled and many people don't yet have audience of your value you many people don't yet have audience of what what god has been doing uh, with you in the secret place uh, uh, many people have have not yet found audience have not they, they, they have not found audience with you because you are in a remote place you are isolated uh, 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 you, you are still in a place where god is hiding you but the bible says one day they go for a passover gathering they go for the feast of the Passover and it so happens that Jesus finds a way to step into the temple, which is his place of expertise. This is the place where he had been called for. Uh, this is the place where he had been anointed for. This is his area of expertise. Come on, somebody. This is this is about anything concerned that place this is the place where god is calling him to and he begins to exhibit and manifest the wisdom that god has been imparting in him in secret
I want to make a prophetic declaration that in the month of April, God is about to create opportunities for your value to be announced. I want to make a prophetic declaration to people on this broadcast that in the month of April, God is about to orchestrate and create opportunities for the very thing that he has been doing in the inside of you to start gaining an audience. Ay, 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 ay. There is an audience coming for the work that God has been doing in the secret place with you. There is multitudes coming together around the value that God has been birthing in the inside of you. Uh, there, is, there is a group of people coming uh, to see the very thing that God has been working on in the inside of you. And I heard the Lord say, it, it, it sh age shall not stop them from seeing the value. The Bible says at the age of 12, these teachers of the law and these teachers in the synagogue and in the temple, they gave this young 12 year old an opportunity to sit in their midst to not only sit but to ask questions to not only ask questions but to also share what he had in his heart and the bible says and those who heard him were so astounded at his understanding and his answers so which means they not only gave him an opportunity to soak in the wisdom they not only gave him an opportunity to listen to them but they also gave him an opportunity to answer some questions and scripture tells us that they were astounded at his understanding and they were astounded at his answers i'm declaring that in the month of april it is a month of distinct value where your value is getting ready to receive an audience where your value is getting ready for visibility where your value is getting ready to be recognized age will not stand in the way Come on, somebody. So you have been saying to yourself, I've been, I'm young, but age will not stand in the way. Experience will not stand in the way. Ah, in fact, I heard, I heard the Lord say titles will not stand in the way. The fact that you don't carry the same titles as the people sitting in the same meetings with you will not stand in the way of people recognizing uh, 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 the, the uniqueness, the uncommon, uh, the uncommon value that you are bringing to the table. Uh, it, it will, it will not stop people from truly experiencing your, 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 your level of uh, innovation, uh, your, uh, the, the level of wisdom in your answers the level of wisdom in your contributions and meetings in the name of jesus uh, 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 your, your inability to to carry the titles that other people carry is not going to stop people from uh, experiencing the value and the work that god has been doing in your heart i want you to type prophetically it's my month of distinct value it's my month month of distinct value. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing some of you being surrounded by great men. I'm seeing some of you being surrounded by men above your protocol, above your title, above your pay grade. And they will silently listen to you as you provide your detail. <clears throat> as you provide your contribution. As you provide the strategy that God has, 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 has placed over your heart. In the name of Jesus. 12 years of age. But he was growing in strength, in wisdom, and in the grace of God. I declare that this is the month where the grace of God upon your life is about to make itself manifest. I declare that this is the month where God's grace upon your life is about to become visible. It's been working in your spirit. It has been growing. Do you know you can grow in grace? Scripture says we grow from grace to grace. The grace of God has been working in your spirit. It has been growing in your spirit. It has been maturing. Someone has been, has been taking good care of grace. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah somebody has been taking good care of grace you have been a good steward of grace and this is the month where what the grace has been nurturing in the inside of your inner man begins to make itself manifest in the name of jesus in this season i'm seeing people who are obscure begin to come to the rise in this season i'm seeing people who were hidden begin to be revealed
often I am seeing a spotlight on somebody who has not received a spotlight ever before in their corporate jobs, in their business space. In the name of Jesus, your, your brand, your, your products have not been a household name. But I'm seeing in this season there is a wind that is coming and it is about to raise some people in business. It's about to raise some people in corporate. It's about to raise some people in ministry in the name of Jesus. The month of distinct value. God has been birthing this value in your spirit. God has been molding this value in your spirit. God has been doing something in the secret place, but it is coming time when other people will begin to experience that which the Lord has been doing in secret. The Bible says, all who heard him were astounded. All who heard him were astounded. They were astounded at his understanding, which means his grasp of concepts. I'm seeing some of you in meetings and people will not be able to fully understand how you have such an, a, 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 an uncommon uh, grasp of concepts. The Bible says, and his answers. I'm seeing some of you, it's as though you will step into, into rooms where you will be interrogated, but you will, God will provide you with the right answers. God will provide you with the right answers for the investors. God will provide you with the right answers uh, uh, for the people that have been that have been waiting to partner and collaborate with you in your business. God will he will fill your mouth and he will provide you with the right answers. The Bible says, "Oh, we heard him, we're astounded at his understanding and his answers." Prayer governors, the Lord Jesus had value that God had been breathing in the inside of him while he was in the secret place. And scripture says he was growing in strength, growing in wisdom, and growing in the grace of God. Be careful that you don't despise people that are currently in their secret place. Be careful that you don't despise people that God is working on in the secret place. Be careful that you don't despise people because of their age. Be careful that you don't despise people just because they've not yet received an opportunity to exhibit their value. Some of you, it's been a lack of platforms. But I'm sent on assignment as a servant of the Most High God to announce that the platforms are coming. The platforms are coming. It has been a lack of platforms. It has been a lack of exposure. But God is beginning to orchestrate platforms where the strength, the wisdom, and the grace of God will begin to manifest itself an opportunity for God to reveal the very thing that he has been doing in secret an opportunity for God to reveal the anointing the unique anointing that he has been birthing and he has been pressing out of you an opportunity for you to sit side by side sit next to sit with man of influence, man of power, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. Prayer governors, for somebody to reach a level of understanding, it means there is a lot of work that has been taking place. You just haven't been seeing it. For somebody to be able to step into scripture and unravel revelation, it's not just ha happening there. There has been things that have been happening in the secret place. You just haven't been seeing it. Prayer governors, for somebody to have answers for you that you need, and there is stuff that has been happening in the secret place. You just haven't been seeing it. We're stepping into a month where I'm seeing people being revealed. 
the value that God has been working on in your life becoming revealed. And I heard the Lord, some of you, your value had been intentionally hidden as a form of spiritual sabotage. You're in corporate and intentionally you are not given opportunities to shine on projects because there is somebody that is hell bent on making sure your value remains hidden. You are in the workplace and you have never been on a destiny defining project. Every important project, your name is not on the, on the line. Your name is not on the table. Why? Because there is somebody hell bent on making sure that the value that you possess, it's almost as though they've already discerned that your star is on the rise, but it is important and it is imperative for them to continue to hide your star but i want to make an announcement that in the month of april that there is a wind that is coming that is about to blow people out of obscurity there is a wind that is coming that is about to blow even the young into places of visibility Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible says all that heard them were astounded at his understanding and his answers my god my god my god my god every person that had been standing for in your life in your business in your corporate journey in ministry being hidden from platforms being hidden from you from opportunities where people will hear you and will be astounded at your understanding and your answers right now in the matchless name of jesus i make an announcement in the corridors of the spirit that in the month of april any resistance connected to your destiny any resistance connected to your rise it has to scatter in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every saboteur in the realms of the spirit any saboteurs in the form of altars any saboteurs in the form of demonic agents, satanic agents sent on assignment to sabotage the lives of your children, Father. To sabotage the lives of your children. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we begin to declare that there is an open, I'm seeing a highway. Prayer governors, do you understand what a highway is? When you are in the highway, there is no need for you to, uh, to travel slowly. There is a, a, a speed that some of you are about to receive in the month of April of people that are in a highway. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm seeing an, a highway has been opened up in the name of Jesus Christ. A highway has been opened up in the name of Jesus. And if there be any saboteurs, if there be any people in your life that say it over my dead body, let there be a scattering of every evil agenda concerning your life. Let there be a scattering in the name of Jesus of every sabotage in the spirit concerning your destiny. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Prayer governors, when a man knows his value, he is not trying to prove himself. He knows that there is something in the inside of him. And when the time is right, the Lord will reveal it. This is where some of you have been stationed. You have been in a season where you know you didn't need to prove anything because when the time was right, God was going to announce you. You have been seeing and observing the schemes of the enemy and he has been trying to hide you. He has been trying to cover you. He has been trying to veil you but prayer governors you can only veil value for so long you can only hide value for so long isn't it fascinating that the moment jesus a mother and his father were out of sight value just came to the surface <laughs> value just came to the surface if his parents were there uh, and jesus wanted to talk in the midst of teachers they would have said we're sorry uh, uh, sorry please forgive our son uh, 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 
but, but God created an opportunity for value to become visible. And the Bible says that Jesus, uh, 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 parents, I don't know about you. I have a child. I'm not leaving him anywhere for nothing. I'm not forgetting that little boy for nothing. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my baby ain't getting left nowhere for nothing. This is what shows me that this was the will of God. This is what shows me that the time was right for God to begin to slowly announce Jesus Christ. Uh, this, this is, this is, this is what, what makes me believe that this was supernatural in nature. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, God was doing something in, in the spirit. God was, was beginning to prepare Jesus for something in the spirit. I, I, I pray, governors, I would never leave my child for nothing. And I don't believe I'm a better parent that, than Joseph and Mary. Uh, hello, somebody. But something happened on this particular day. And there was a supernatural orchestration in the realms of the spirit that allowed Jesus to be at the right place at the right time being listened to by the right people and just in a place and in a space where there was nobody to gag his value to gag the very thing that he carried in the inside of him there was nobody in the vicinity uh, uh, to try and to and to contain this very thing that god was doing in the inside of him i want to make a prophetic announcement that god is orchestrating supernatural a supernatural opportunity for your value to become visible for your value to become visible In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says when his parents saw him, they were astonished. They said, child, why, why have you done this to us? His mother asked, uh, your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Uh, this was also a great opportunity for God to reveal to Jesus' parents that they were just but stewards. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, some of you, your managers need to understand that they are your managers, but they are not the boss of you. <laughs> I don't know know who I'm speaking to but somebody's gonna catch this by way of the spirit uh, somebody's supervisor is gonna need to understand that they, they they are stewarding a gift and they better steward it well this was an opportunity for Jesus parents to understand that they were not owners of Jesus gifting they were not owners of the thing that God was doing inside of the Messiah and that they were just but stewards they say to Jesus why have you done this to us your father and i have been anxiously searching for you jesus responds he says why have you been looking for me did you not know that i had to be in my father's house so jesus begins to set the record straight he says listen there is something that god is doing in the inside of a time is coming come on somebody when you will even you will not be able to contain it even you will not be able to hide it yeah 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 you will not be able to hide the work that god is doing in my life you will not be able to contain it you will not have the power to contain it i, I know you love me and i know that maybe some so, sometimes that the reason why you don't want the exposure and the visibility is because you care but but, but today is an opportunity for God to reveal to you that you are just but stewards. You don't own this value. You don't own this gift. You don't own the work that God is doing in the inside of me. And God is, get, is getting you ready. He's getting you ready for a season where nobody will be able to contain the very thing that God is doing in the inside of me. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. I don't know who I'm speaking to this afternoon. I don't know who I'm speaking to this evening, depending on whatever time zone you're connecting from. But in the month of April, I see, I, I see visibility over the thing that God has been doing in the inside of you in the secret place. Prayer governors, when God has placed value in the inside of you, great value becomes indisposable and he becomes indispensable 
A man of great value becomes indisposable and he becomes indispensable. When people begin to recognize your value in corporate, when people begin to recognize and appreciate your the unique anointing you are carrying in ministry, I'm seeing some of you becoming indisposable and indispensable. That's right. I love somebody says I'm taking this personal and that's your word. And I want you to take it personal this evening. I, 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 some of you are stepping into a realm where you are going to become indispensable, which means if the company has to go and sit with you again on that table to negotiate your salary increase to keep you. My God, my God, my God, my God, which means if you have to sit on that table again, to discuss your benefits and to revisit your contract to keep you. I don't know if somebody catch it, catches this by way of the spirit. But there is coming a time when your value will become so visible that even before you even approach them, they will begin to ask you, are you happy? Are you happy about your medical aid? Are you happy about your benefits? Are you happy about your increase in salary, the percentage we're using? What can we do to make your stay here more pleasurable and enjoyable? Prayer governors, it is a realm in corporate. There is such a realm when you can begin to be asked, are you happy? What can we make? What can we do to make your, 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 your stay at this company a pleasure? It is a, a dimension that some of you are about to tap into. It is a dimension that some of you are about to enjoy. It is a dimension that some of you are about to encounter. Uh, some of you weren't even praying for it. Hello, somebody. Some of you were not even praying for it, but you are stepping into a season where you are stepping into a dimension where, 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 where you are going to become indispensable and indisposable. They will want to keep you there because of the value of the work that God has been working in the inside of you in the secret place. I'm sensing an apostolic grace over this month. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sensing an apostolic grace over this month. Ah, which means the ability to, to just, to just create new things. The ability to step in where there was nothing and to build something. The ability to step into a place where there was no sign of life and to bring life into that place. No sign of profitability, but you begin to bring profitability into that department. Why? Because the value that was in the inside of you has started coming to the fore and making itself manifest. One of the things that we're going to pray for as we're about to start praying is, Lord, make every dormant value in my life manifest. Because I'm seeing that some of you, you were in environments where uh, the, the, the value was, it was, it was, it was crushed. The value was hidden and the value, and somebody make it, made it their business to make sure that this value would never come to the fore. But in the name of Jesus, this month of April, it's a month of distinct value. It's a month of distinct value in the name of Jesus. And I want somebody to begin to lift up their voice and begin to say, this is my month. This is my month. This is my month. Prayer governors, Jesus was so valuable that the teachers sat at his feet at the age of 12. Prayer governors, you can't hide value. Hello, somebody. You can't hide value. Jesus was so valuable. He had so much value in the inside of him. He had so much to give to the world that at the age of 12, he sat amongst teachers. And the Bible says that all that heard him were astounded by his understanding and his answers. 
Prayer governors, Jesus had so much value embedded in his spirit. God had done such a work in the inside of him that when it came time for his ministry to begin, men left their occupations, doctors, left their occupations, people in finances, left their places of occupation, they left their lives to follow him on command. This is what value does. It causes you to be surrounded by destiny helpers. At the speaking of a word. At the declaration of a word. Uh, uh, this, is, this, is, this is our Lord and Savior. Men left their families and they left left their lives and they left their farms and they left everything they had worked for to follow him on command because of the value that God had been working in the inside of him because of the the anointing that God had embedded in his spirit prayer governors this is the man who crowds would gather around him to tap into this value crowds would gather around him and he would say some things that people would 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 struggle to grasp but they would say where can we run to where can we go out of you comes the words of life i want to make a declaration that some of you are going to be so valuable that people will know that what you are bringing to the table, no one else can give as you give it. That what you are providing on the table as a service in your company, through your company, is nothing anyone else can give as you can give it. They can, they can quote cheaper than you. Hello, somebody. I, I'm sent in a summer today to tell somebody they can quote cheaper than you. Hello. Their company can quote for the job cheaper than you, but there will be a unique understanding. There will be an awareness and knowing that there is nobody that can do the job and there is nobody that can provide the value in the way that you can provide it. The month of distinct value. The month of distinct value. The month of distinct value. I need somebody to, to type it prophetically. It's my month of distinct value. Prayer governors, this is the, the man who had no home. He says foxes and whores have, have, have foxes and birds have homes to stay. Uh, but the son of man has nowhere to lie down and rest. Which means that he never had a house and yet he always had some a place to sleep value does it attracts destiny helpers this is what value does it attracts resources somebody you've been worried about how you are going to resource that business plan somebody you've been worried about how you are going to finance that business plan uh, uh, the value inside of your spirit is going to attract the provision he had no home but he always had some where to stay uh, he had no bank account but he always had provision am i communicating this morning as he was about to go on the cross of calvary the bible says he sends his disciples and he sends them to another town he says you are going to meet a donkey there is a specific donkey i want to ride on as i step into jerusalem as i as i as i go to the place of my offering the place of my assignment and if somebody asks you as you're about to take it i want you to tell them that the master needs it Prayer governors, the value that God has embedded inside of your spirit is going to attract the provision. The value that God has placed in the inside of attract the resources. Uh, he says, tell them the master needs it. I don't know who is going to ask you, but when they ask you, I just want you to tell them that there is somebody known as the master that needs it this is what happens when a man understands the value embedded in his spirit this is what happens when a man understands his position in the corridors of destiny this is what begins to happen when a man understand what he has been sent on assignment to do when a man understand the value inside of his spirit he begins to call forth resources a donkey come to me now Ooh. 
finances come into my business now. That's right. Go, go, go get the finances. If somebody asks you, tell them the CEO of the company needs it. Go get the capital. Tell them I sent you. If they ask you, you must say, I said, I need it. When a man understands his value. Some of you, there, there, there are certain numbers you never thought you would have in your, in your phone. Certain numbers to certain resources in the banking sector. Certain numbers to certain resources of people who are who could become game-changing mentors for your business that you are about to receive. You never thought you would have the number of this person in your phone, but you're about to receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, certain numbers of certain ministers you are about to receive in your phone. Because of the value that God has been breathing in the inside of your spirit in the secret place. The Bible says that Jesus was growing in strength, in wisdom, and in grace. There's some of you, your season of hiding has just been a season of construction. Your season of lack of visibility has just been a season of construction. This is the same man who even at his death, women went to anoint his dead body. He, had, he no longer had nothing to give them. No longer had nothing to give them. He was a dead body, a dead man. And yet they came with spices and oil to anoint him. Prayer governors, there's something about value. You could lose it all in business. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I'm seeing someone in the realms of the spirit. You lost it all in business. But I want you to know that you didn't lose that which is inside of you that made you get it in the first place. It was never outside of you. It was always in you. The value was never outside of you. It wasn't in the cars you lost. It wasn't in the house you lost. It was never outside of you. It was always in you. I, I want to encourage somebody this, this evening. I want to encourage you that the value has always been in the inside of you. You could have lost the, you could have lost the business. You could have lost, you could have lost the money, but the value is still in the inside of you. And we're stepping into a season where God is getting ready to make visible, distinct value. The very thing he has been working in your, the very thing he has been working in your spirit. Uh, there is an apostolic grace in the month of April. P I'm seeing people building new systems. I'm seeing people building new structures. I'm seeing people uh, being, being strategically positioned by the support system they need. I'm seeing people birthing out new strategy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing a, a, a clarity. A, 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 there is going to be a clarification of the solution you bring. There is going to be clarity around what you bring to the table. There is going to be clarity on the value you bring to the table. And I heard the Lord say many people that didn't see your value. Many people that didn't acknowledge your value. Many people that had been trying to hide your value. Many people that had been trying to sabotage the work that you were doing in the month of, uh, 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 of April. Uh, there is an apostolic grace. There is a grace for, there is a grace where visibility is inevitable. In the matchless name of Jesus, is somebody ready to pray? Is somebody ready to pray this evening? Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, my goodness. Prayer is ready for us. Is somebody ready to pray? It, it feels like this evening the atmosphere is now pregnant for prayer. I, 
uh, is somebody ready to lift up their voice and claim that this is the, this is my month of distinct visibility this is the, the month of my of my distinct visibility in the name of Jesus prayer governors our first prayer point of the day is father every environment where my star has been deprived of shining may it begin to shine every environment where i have been concealed where i have been hidden where i have been sabotaged ay 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 may my star begin to shine every environment whether it's a ministry whether it's in the corporate space whether it's my products in my business every environment where your star has been deprived of shining let it begin to shine i want you to begin to lift up your voice and say this is my time where the spotlight comes and rests on me rests on my business rests on my ministry raka zeva kadebala kosekeda bayande kedia rinda mako vrake seke di bayande keseke father in the name of jesus we touch and agree as a collective on this virtual portal of prayer father we lift up our voices and we apply intercessory pressure this evening making an announcement in the corridors of the spirit that every environment that had been orchestrated from the pits of darkness every environment that had been constrained every environment Environments where we were concealed, environments where visibility was not on the very thing that you needed on in our lives, places where we had been deprived, where our stars had been deprived of shining. Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, we declare that we're stepping into a month where we are going to begin to shine in the name of Jesus Christ. I call people out of obscurity in the month of April in the name of Jesus. I call people out of the hiding in the month of april in the name of jesus i call people out of places of, of isolation i call people out of places where they had been sabotaged i call people out of the secret place where god had already released them out of in the matchless name of jesus we begin to declare and decree that no more delays no more denials in the name of jesus christ we announce in the corridors of the spirit saboteurs have to scatter in the name of jesus christ we are announcing the rain realms of the spirit that any high and lofty thing that had been exalted over our destiny and assignment any principality it begins to scatter in the name of jesus we speak visibility in the realms of the spirit in the matchless name of jesus we speak visibility over our our, our our businesses we speak visibility over our corporate brands in the name of jesus we speak visibility over our value in corporate we speak visibility over every single area that you have been working on in our lives that is ready to flourish that is ready to thrive that is ready to prosper that has already been released out of the secret place but because of saboteurs there has been hindrances barricades blockades and roadblocks in the corridors of the spirit but this morning in the name of Jesus we begin to declare and decree that no weapon fashioned against your people shall be able to prosper in the month of April we announce in the corridors of the spirit that the hand of the Lord is upon them and he is mightily working over their lives in the name of Jesus in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless name of Jesus. Places where we had been deprived, deprived of visibility. Places where we had been hidden. Places where we had been obscure. 
places where people made an intentional effort for our value to not be recognized. In the matchless name of Jesus, scatter every gathering of conspirators that had been working against us. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, our second prayer point today is every dormant value in my life, let it be unearthed. I want somebody to type it prophetically. Every dormant value in my life, let it be unearthed. Every dormant gifting, every dormant value, which means something happened in your life that made you sleep on yourself which means something happened in your life that made you sleep on your potential it means something happened in your life that made you believe that just playing it safe was the easiest way to navigate the corridors of destiny which means that there is a scenario that took place in your life that made you believe that playing small was safe but I want to make an announcement in the corridors of the spirits that in the month of April, God is delivering you from people pleasing. In the name of Jesus, in the month of April, God is delivering you from a fearful spirit. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm seeing the Lord delivering people out of dark places where they had been obscure by choice, which means you have been self-sabotaging and you have literally been uh, uh, letting go of opportunities that you know you have the value proposition for. Because somebody told you you were small. Because somebody told you you couldn't do it. Because somebody made you believe that leaving beneath your value proposition, leaving beneath your means, leaving, be leaving beneath your, uh, your God-given gifts was safe. But in the name of Jesus, in the month of April, we make a prophetic pronouncement that every dormant value in your life, let it be unearthed. Holy Spirit, by your mercy and by your grace, begin to unearth broken vision. Begin to unearth broken dreams, dreams that people had let go of, dreams that people had forgotten about, dreams in the name of Jesus that were now slumbering. Areko zava kadiba yande kadiba. Dreams that had become inactive. In the matchless name of Jesus, in the month of April, I pray that there is a resurrection of broken dreams. I pray that there is a resurrection of dreams that people had let go of because life happened. I come against any people pleasing in the name of Jesus. I come against any, any spirit standing in the way of the progress of your people in the name of Jesus. At things that have caused your, your people to slamber on assignment. Right now in the name of Jesus, I declare that every dormant value in their lives. Let it begin to be unearthed. Right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every, every, every value proposition in their lives that they had decided to divorce themselves out of because of doubt, because somebody told them otherwise, because the enemy whispered lies in their ears right now in the name of Jesus. I declare prophetically that you are releasing a wind that is about to wake up every dormant value in their lives. Every dormant gift in their lives. Let it be unearthed. I speak to every person that has been leaving beneath their value, uh, that has been leaving beneath their value proposition, that has been leaving beneath their begin to arise in the name of Jesus. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm seeing the Lord doing a marvelous thing on this broadcast. I'm seeing some things breaking in the realms of the spirit. I'm seeing some things breaking in the corridors of the spirit. I'm saying I'm seeing low self-esteem breaking in the corridors of the spirit. I'm seeing lies, old age lies that the enemy had told you about your value breaking in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing strongholds, imaginations that had been erected in your mind by the enemy concerning your value proposition breaking. I'm seeing someone and this had even started affecting your relationships. It had started the, uh, affecting the way you show up in relationships. It had started affecting the way you navigate get the corridors of relationships. You, you're so timid and it doesn't make sense because you have so much to offer. You have so much to give. You have so much value in the inside of you because you forgot who you are. That's right. You forgot who you are, but I declare and decree that every dormant value in your life, let it begin to be unearthed in this month of April in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody, I want you to, I want you to take that prayer point personally. I want you to say, that's my word. I want you to receive it and I want you to mix it by faith. The substance of things and seeing the evidence of things hoped for. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Broken dreams begin to rise again. A, a dormant, dormant value begin to come to the, to the fore again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, prayer governors, our third prayer point for the, for the evening is, Father, may my values speak for me in places I cannot speak for myself. May my values begin to speak for me in places I cannot speak for myself, which means some of you, the work that you've already done is going to begin to speak for you in places you cannot speak for yourself. Your, your work is going to become your own recommendation. People are going to look at the work that you've done before and the value that you've placed in, 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 in certain projects. And it is going to res become resoundingly, resoundingly clear that you have value to offer. I want you to lift up your voice and say, may, may the value that I've already be, 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 started giving, may the value that I've already given begin to rise up as a test, testament of what I have to offer. I'm seeing some of you in ministry, some of you, uh, you have been invited to places to minister and, and, and you're entering into a season where for some strange reason, that particular, that particular administration will just gain visibility. And many more people will begin to want, they will begin to want to partake of the anointing of God over your life. It's like it was a season of silence, but there is just, there's this season where God is opening up visibility to something that happened a long time ago. And, and people are going to say, this is the person we need. I'm seeing some of you, you worked on, on, on projects and, and, and these projects, they, they are from a long time ago, but for some strange reason, they will become a part of the discussion in, 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 in the meetings in the month of April. And it is almost as though the, the work that you did, the value you provided in those projects is going to begin to speak for you. In the matchless name of Jesus, begin to lift up your voice and touch and agree with this prayer point. My value is starting to speak for me in places I cannot speak for myself. Arando shaka. 
Father, we declare that pertaining us, our work will never be forgotten. We declare that the toil and the labor of our hands will not be forgotten. We declare and decree that the labor of our hands will never be obscure in the name of Jesus. And so I pray for a season where there is a wind that is rising up, that is lifting up that we have already planted in prior projects, the value that we have already planted in prior commitments and engagements. Let it begin to speak for us in places where we have no access to. Let it begin to speak for us in places where we have no, uh, where people have not given us audience. Let it begin to speak speak for us in places in the name of Jesus where some of us don't even have keys to or connections to in the matchless name of Jesus I declare father that there is a wind that is coming that is removing the dust off of old projects that is removing the dust off of old work that we have done before that is removing the dust off of miracles that have been routed through our hands that is removing the dust off of the value proposition that we have to offer in the matchless name of Jesus Christ I declare and decree that in the places where we had been obscure in the places where our names were no longer remembered in the places where we were now forgotten in the matchless name of Jesus bring our names to the fore bring our company names to the fore bring our services to the fore in Jesus mighty and wonderful name let us be remembered in the places where we were out of mind let us be recalled in the places where we were out of of mind ezoka vakada arekada bayanda kasoka alekra di basaka de baba baya entana makuza vakade kadia arekada baba bayande kesika da bayanda father we apply intercessory pressure we announce in the corridors of the spirit that our value is beginning to speak for us in all the right places in this season Somebody say it with me. My name is being remembered in places I cannot speak for myself. My name is being remembered in places I cannot speak for myself. Grace to be remembered. Grace to be recalled. Grace to become top of mind in places where you went now out of mind. My God, my God, my God. Grace to become top of mind in places where you were now out of mind. My goodness. I'm seeing some of you, your marriages are receiving a fresh wind. Grace to be remembered in places where you were now out of mind, but you now become top of mind. Eranda masuna makaya lakose vekreda basaka di bayande kediza. In the matchless name of Jesus, grace to be remembered in the month of April. Receive it this evening. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Prayer governors, our fourth prayer point. Our fourth prayer point, and this is, I want, especially if you're in business or in corporate, you offer a service and you offer an invoice for, for your services. I want you to say with me in the place of prayer, I want you to say, may my value attract billable problems at my doorstep. Somebody type that in the comment section. May my value attract billable problems at my doorstep. Ooh, which means their problems are rising with your name on them. Uh-huh. Which means their problems are rising that only you can fix and only you can solve. Which means their problems are rising only your product can fix. Which means their problems are rising that only your training courses and your training, uh, 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 your training, uh, one day trainings in corporate can fix. 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I, if if somebody catches that. May 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 my value attract billable problems at my doorstep. God, how am I going to pay for this debt? Problems are coming that are billable. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. God, how am I going to pay this mortgage? Problems are coming with your name on them. Fix them. Let your value begin to fix the problems that are coming along your way. So, so in the month of, uh, we're going to have our eyes open to opportunities in the form of problems. So I want you to begin to lift up your voice and say, my value is beginning to attract billable problems. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Erata la baso kadiba. Antona makadeba yake seve kadiba yanda. Areka da baba baba yande ke sika da bayanda. Father, we announce that in the month of April, there are problems arising with our names on them we announce that in the month of april there is specific issues that are arising that we are going to be solutions to uh, we are announcing in the month of april that you are giving us eyes that are able to recognize opportunities even in the most frustrating and difficult of scenarios we are announcing that in the month of april uh, that god you are bringing problems to our doorstep that we are going to be able to build for in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare pertaining our businesses that we are receiving new business. We declare pertaining our businesses that we are receiving new contracts. We declare pertaining our businesses that we are receiving new calls for consultation. We are receiving in the name of Jesus, opportunity upon opportunity in the name of Jesus. May this month bring with it uh, billable problems at our doorsteps. May it bring in new clients in the name of Jesus Christ. May it bring in new income streams in the name of Jesus. New contracts in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and decree today in the ma mighty name of Jesus Christ that there are problems coming specifically with our names on them and we'll be able to bill for them we'll be able to invoice ah, yeah, 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 yeah. you've been praying for new clients you've been praying for new business receive billable problems on your doorstep in the month of April the kind of problems that increase your bottom line in your company the kind of problems that increase your profitability in your company the kind of problems that increase your corporate value and your corporate branding your corporate value in your department the kind of problems where they will know that it is only you with the expertise to fix them and it will begin to increase your corporate value in the name of Jesus so that when you now need to go negotiate in corporate it is an easy conversation because they know you have provided value hallelujah 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 somebody received that word in the name of Jesus Somebody just press into that word for a couple of seconds in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive billable problems on my doorstep. I, re I receive new business on my doorstep. In the name of Jesus, I receive new clients on my doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, our fifth prayer point of the evening is Father, may your inv uh, may may your invoice may my invoice for my full value never be negotiated Ooh, that's deep right there may people not not try to negotiate 
my value because some of you it's like people understand that that the wheel doesn't turn unless you are unless you are turning it people understand that you are the, you are the center of this wheel and the wheel doesn't turn unless you are there but it's like they know you are not good at negotiating you are not good with negotiations so they're constantly trying to put you in a corner and some of you you have now started resenting your job because you do your job so well but you are always under negotiated i don't know if i'm speaking about someone's story this evening you do such a stellar job but you don't know how to negotiate your worth the month of distinct value so we're crying out before the Lord this evening. We're saying, when I invoice, may my invoices be paid in full without negotiate, negotiations or cries for discounts. I'm just seeing in the month of April that people are going to, uh, somebody, God is placing you in an environment where you are going to be, you're going to be received for your value. There is some some kind some 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 negotiations and some desire for discounts are demonic in nature because you know you already got a good deal. Why are you trying to why are you trying to underpay me? Why are you trying to underpay me for my value? Some of you are in relationships right now and it almost feels like every single time. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but it feels like every single time people are always trying to un to negotiate you, negotiate you down, negotiate your value down, even in relationships. They're trying, they're always trying to get a better deal out of you. They're always trying to get more out of you than what they give you. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I, I'm sent an assignment uh, to tell somebody today, cry out before your maker. Cry out before the altar of God. Cry out for mercy. Lord, I will no longer be uh, negotiated down. Lord, my value will no longer be negotiated down. Lord, uh, they will. I will no longer live a life where everybody is constantly crying out for a discount for my value. My value will be appropriate appreciated in the name of jesus begin to lift up your voice prayer governor and i want you to begin to cry out for mercy 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 god mercy 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 makale bro seke da kade kayinda mercy on our lives mercy over our businesses mercy over our ministries mercy over our kingdom assignments mercy mercy upon us mercy ale kro zaka de bayande kadia erende we are tired of being in relationships where we are negotiated down where our value is negotiated down we are tired of being in jobs where our salaries are negotiated down where our rates are negotiated down in the matchless name of jesus we are tired tired of being in corporate spaces where our value in, is constantly being negotiated down elando kazava areka dabayande azika tabayante kesiva kadeba in the matchless name of jesus we cry out for mercy 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 that we're stepping into a season where for the first time in a long time we are paid our value we are paid our worth with no discounts with no negotiations down in the name of jesus christ no more begging no more contending no more crying out in the secret place to be paid what is due to us in the name of jesus christ may people begin to see us and look Look at our value and to begin to pay us what is due in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as some of you you were raised that way you are not good at standing up for yourselves but the mercy of God is about to inflate your value so high that you that that, that, that the discount the discount the the negotiating you down 
in the name of Jesus, it diseases. Thank you, King of Glory. Contend for your people. Contend for those that can't contend for themselves. Cry out for those that can't cry out for themselves. Vindicate those that can't vindicate themselves. Begin to announce them in the corridors of assignment. Let it be said pertaining them that they were, your word says a worker is deserving of what is due to them. A worker deserves his pay. Father, this evening we cry out for every person that has been underpaid. We cry out in the name of Jesus Christ for every person that has been feeling the pain of not knowing how to negotiate their worth, not knowing how to articulate their worth, not knowing how to step into their places with position and power and autonomy. They've been in these places and their hearts have been crying out. But this month of, uh, of April, the month of distinct value, they our value is going to superimpose a renegotiation. It's going to superimpose a renegotiation in salaries. It's going to superimpose a renegotiation in benefits in the name of Jesus. Let them encounter mercy. Let them encounter mercy. Let them encounter mercy in the name of Jesus. No more living beneath their means. No more crying in their hearts and having to laugh and, and be excited in public when they know they're not getting their due. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, I want us to step into our sixth prayer point of the evening. We're about to step into the new month. I want you to get fervent in your prayer. I want you to say, may destiny connections locate me and support me as my value changes communities and every place I come in contact with. May destiny connections begin to locate me. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. May a support system be structured around me by the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, destiny connections locating you to support you in your place of value. In your place of value, in the name of Jesus, which means if you're in corporate, there is people that are going to come and they're just going to become voluntary mentors. Because they your star is on the rise and they don't mind being associated with your corporate brand. They don't mind being associated with your lifting. They don't mind being associated with the work that you are doing. Destiny connections are gathering around you to support you. Even in the life of Jesus Christ, he had disciples gather around him to help him do the work. Destiny connections are going to begin to locate you in the month of April to support this value proposition that God has been working and birthing in the inside of you. I want you to begin to lift up your voice and say, my destiny connections will not be late. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. My destiny connections will not be delayed. My destiny helpers will not be delayed in the name of Jesus. In the season, in this new month, I pray and prophesy I am gravitating towards every room that has my destiny connections inside of it. Begin to lift up your voice, prayer governor, and I want you to apply intercessory pressure. I want you to lift up your voice and I want you to echo in the corridors of the spirit. I want you to resound in the corridors of prayer this evening. Begin to rise up and mount up on eagle's wings and begin to pray. No more delays and no more denials over our destiny helpers. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we declare that we are surrounded by our mighty man like David. We declare and decree that we are surrounded in the name of Jesus as it was in the days when he was when Jesus was surrounded by his disciples. We declare that there are people that
that are coming and they will recognize the value we offer. We declare that pertaining the companies we are about to start, we are being surrounded by loyal team members, loyal employees. In the matchless name of Jesus, destiny connections, locate us now. In the name of Jesus, our mentors, they locate us now. People that have our opportunities, they locate us now. People that have our next dimension and our next level, people that have the keys to our next dimension, they locate us now in the matchless name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will no longer be void of help. We will no longer be crying out for help. We will no longer be crying out for mentorship. We will no longer be crying out for for for. If we will no longer be crying out, Father, for assistance in the matchless name of Jesus because our value proposition is aligning us to the right destiny helpers, to the right destiny connections, to the right support structures, to the right employees in the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus. The value that God has placed in the inside of you, it is attracting the support structure that you need. It is attracting the people with the systems you need. It is attracting the people with the expertise you need. It is attracting the people with the strategy you need. It is attracting the people with the clarity you need concerning that place of assignment in the name of Jesus. May your destiny connections locate you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That which you have been yearning for, that which you have been crying for. That, that which you have been trusting God for, people that are able to bring your name into rooms where you don't have the capacity to bring your own name into, let them begin to locate you and let them begin to identify, let them identify with your value proposition, let them catch the vision. Let them catch the vision. Some of you, you have been surrounded by your destiny helpers, but they've never caught the vision. I pray that in the month of April, may they catch what you're trying to do. May they cut, catch what you're trying to do. May they catch what you are trying to do and may they assist you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer governors, our seventh prayer point of the evening. Father, may I be recommended in rooms where kings, queens, and men of great influence sit because of my value. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Father, may I be recommended in rooms where kings sit, where queens sit, where women of great value, where men of great value sit in because of the value. Because of the value that you're placed in the inside of me. May I be recommended. May my name be dropped. In, 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 may, my, may my name be known in new rooms in the month of april ah yeah 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 somebody begin to lift up your voice and prayer nine minutes before we step into the month of april i want you to step into the month of april fervently in prayer i want you to step into the month of april in travail i want you to step into the month of april as speaking to your maker i want you to step into the month of a april applying intercessory pressure on the month in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we cry out for the month of April. We cry out for the month of April. We cry out for the month of April. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our 
names are being recommended in rooms where kings sit, where queens sit, where presidents sit, where men of great might and great influence sit in the name of Jesus because of the value, because of the secret thing that you have been routing in our inner man. We declare that this is the season of visibility. We declare that this is the season of alignment. We declare that this is the season where you reveal us to the world. We declare that this is the season where men will begin to see the wisdom and the elevation and the increase of grace upon our lives. In the matchless name of Jesus, we declare that in the month of April, we are going to begin to get calls from people bigger than us. We are going to begin to get calls from businesses bigger than us. We are going to begin to get calls from ministries bigger than us. We are going to begin to get calls from places where our names have been recommended. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I prophesy for every person under the sound of my voice that if there be no voice of a man that is able to recommend them in these rooms, I pray that the Holy Spirit himself announces them in the corridors of destiny, announces them in the corridors of corporate, announces them in the corridors of assignment, announces them in the corridors of ministry. I declare that in the places where they've been sabotaged, I declare that in the places where they've been delayed, I declare that in the places where they've been denied, that in this season, the Holy Spirit himself becomes their greatest PR. The Holy Spirit becomes himself their marketing manager. The Holy Spirit himself begins to announce them in the name of Jesus. I declare that any saboteur that has been standing in their way, any saboteur that has been standing in the way of their business, any saboteur that has been standing in the way of them and their destiny, right now he has to come out of their way. No more roadblocks, no more barricades, no more ceilings and no more limitations, no more sabotage in the name of Jesus. We begin to break down every gate, every wall, every high ceiling, every ancient gate in the name of Jesus that has been standing toe to toe with them and their destiny, that has been standing toe to toe with them and their assignment. We begin to apply intercessory pressure this evening. We announce in the corridors of the Spirit, in the matchless name of Jesus, that this this month of distinct value they are becoming visible they are becoming visible they are becoming visible the Lord is releasing them to fulfill their God given assignment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus break every barricade shatter every glass ceiling Eranda masuna makare ke de besina makade bayanda. Erante ne mesika da bayande ke vreke da bayako saka. We apply intercessory pressure in the name of Jesus this evening. We denounce every strategy from the pits of darkness. We nullify it and we render it void this evening in the name of Jesus. They are becoming visible despite the enemy's hand at them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they are becoming visible in places where kings sit. They are becoming visible in places where queens sit. They are becoming visible in places where men of great strength, great influence, great power, great authority sit. In the name of Jesus. Areko zavakadiba yande kediba. Aranta namakosa. No more delays. In the name of Jesus. No more denials. In the name of Jesus, no more obscurity. I hear a rise. For somebody, I hear a rise. You are about to be remembered. Arise. You are about to be remembered. 
arise. You're about to be remembered. Erabasina makuza vrakoda bayanda. Eranda kasika di vayande kabiako lakrozika di bayake da sinta. In the matchless name of Jesus. Erande kana makusa. Arinda makuze bekede bayanda kadua. Today I prophetically speak visibility to every value that you have been bringing to tables where people have been making an intentional effort to make it unnoticed, to, to make sure that it is unnoticed and ignored. I prophetically declare this in the realms of the spirit. I speak great visibility. I speak visibility to every, every, every value proposition you have offered on every table and people have continued to cause you to remain unnoticed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as we're stepping into the new month I want us to pray this last prayer point together I want you to say Father may you make me a valuable asset in every room that I'm in, which means every project I'm in, every relationship I'm in, every partnership I'm in, every, every, every place I'm in, make me a valuable asset. I want somebody to lift up your voice on this last prayer point and begin to just, I want you to begin to echo in the corridors of prayer. I want you to echo in the corridors of prayer. Areko zava kadiba yande kezita. Antem rako zakadaba yanda. One minute before we step into the month of distinct value. Rise up and lift up your voice in the corridors of prayer. Arika zakadeba yande kezika. Arende mekina makovra kazika daba yande kedebele kosa. Erente ne mesika daba yande kazaka. Areka father make valuable assets out of every person this broadcast i declare that this is the season of their unveiling i declare that this is the season of their introduction i declare that this is the season of their visibility i declare that this is the season of their unraveling i declare that this is the season where they will be remembered we apply intercessory pressure over this month. We apply intercessory pressure over this month. We lift up our voices and echo in the corridors of prayer. No more delays and no more denials. No more hindrances and no more limitations. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. 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 We welcome this apostolic month. We welcome this month of great value. We welcome this month of distinct value. We of accelerated speed we welcome this month in the name of jesus we shatter through glass ceilings we shatter through barricades we shatter through limitations we shatter through ancient gates in the matchless name of Jesus. Elimrona namakus de kedia harin tene mekule vrekes and tene meka dalakosa kavika. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. No more limitations. No more barricades. No more hindrances. 
no more blockades that which god wants to do with you and through you in this month let it be accomplished let it be established in the name of jesus may the lord make you a valuable asset in every area of your life where he has planted you strategically may the lord make you a valuable asset a a an arrow in his quiver an arsenal in his hands a mighty man of war for his own bidding a valuable asset for his glory a billboard of his mercy and grace in the name of jesus arise this month of april prayer governors arise in your month of distinct value may the lord expose the very work that he has been doing in the inside of you for a very long time now congratulations 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 and welcome into into the month of april welcome into the month of april congratulations somebody lift up your voice from wherever you are just celebrate jesus celebrate jesus somebody celebrate jesus somebody lift up his holy name celebrate him somebody with me welcome to the month of april welcome to the month of distinct value father let my value not go unnoticed in this month let my value bring me before kings and queens and men and women of great influence men and women that can change my destiny men and women that can offer me opportunities that can completely shift the trajectory of my business welcome into the month of april the month of distinct value the month of distinct value somebody begin to lift up your voice and celebrate him celebrate yahweh lift him up from where Wherever you're connecting from I want you to celebrate Jesus like he has already done it for you I want you to celebrate Jesus like your business already has the audience you've always been praying for I want you to celebrate Jesus right now in the name that is above every other name name above every other name name above every other name congratulations 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 somebody on the broadcast i in the name of jesus let there be a shift in your life let there be a shift in your circumstance let there be a shift in your situation let there be a shift in your business let there be a shift in your ministry in the matchless name of jesus christ who i am excited in my spirit i don't know about you prayer governors but i'm excited i'm like crazy excited hello somebody <laughs> hello somebody congratulations to you congratulations to your household congratulations to every person connected to you everything connected to you must go up with you who congratulations Congratulations. Arena namasuna na vrake da bayando. Congratulations. Azika de balakose vrekina makosa. The Bible says, all who heard him were astounded. I speak the countenance of people that will hear you in the month of April. I speak surprise and ast a a a astoundment, if that's a word, to people that will listen to your business ideas, to your business plan, uh, uh, to your proposals in the month of April. The Bible says, all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. I declare that in every room God is opening up for you in the month of April, you will be prepared. Prepared with understanding and prepared with answers prepared with understanding prepared with answers if you are going for an interview in the month of april may god endure you with understanding and with answers and may you astound everyone that hears you
That's right. That's right. Celebrate him, somebody. Celebrate him, somebody. I need a testimony. I need a testimony. I, 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 there was, there was, there was a grace. I, I felt like there was a, a an apostolic wind that God released over this broadcast. It's almost as though some of you had dreams that were dormant, but as we were praying, the Lord reminded you of these dreams. Uh, uh, this month of April is not an uh, uh, is not a usual month. It's it's an uncommon month, and I want you to maximize on the grace that God has packed in this month, which do something in this month of april go right ahead and do it in your grace period that's right i need somebody with a testimony that says woman of god listen i, I have a testimony i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm going to uh, unaccept everybody that had uh that had asked for for testimony so that we can start a fresh uh, welcome into the month of de distinct value welcome to the month of distinct value if you have a testimony i want you to re re once again i want you to just i want you to just uh, send that invite because i wasn't sure if the people that were there were from the previous we're from the previous we're from the previous uh, uh session of testimonies all right so we're getting new testimonies somebody that say woman of god as we're praying something happened to me a woman of god as we're praying i got a visitation from the lord woman of god as we're praying i got a word for my business from the Lord. Woman of God, as we're praying, I got strategy from the Lord. Woman of God, as we're praying, I, I encountered something, something from the Lord. I want to, we want to hear it. We want to hear it on this virtual broadcast. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. We're going to take a, a few testimonies today, maybe let, until 1230. And I think we'll be done for the day. So let's see, let's see how that goes. Somebody celebrate Jesus with me. Somebody celebrate me. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Give him glory. Give him glory. Welcome to the month of distinct value. Welcome to the month of distinct value. Congratulations. Uh, let me know where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us for, uh, for tonight's session. Uh, Tisseto, you are on mute. If you can hear me, please unmute yourself and share your testimony. Congratulations, congratulations. All right, Tisseto is not there. Let's get somebody else to testify. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to your household. Congratulations to your children. Congratulations to your spouse. Congratulations in the name of Jesus. Uh, the strength of a woman. Congratulations. What is your name and where you're connecting from? Do share your testimony with us. Uh, the strength of a woman. You are you are on mute, so I need you to unmute yourself so you can testify. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, the strength of a woman is also not um, available. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Welcome to the month of April. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Hello, 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 blessed. How are you? Let me know where you're connecting from. What's your name? And share your testimony with us for this evening. So my name is Georgiana and I'm from Jamaica. And I want to say thank you because you have helped me in so many ways. Seeing your videos on TikTok has helped me and I've been praying for a job. And every time I get in contact with you, I don't know there's something about the way that you pray that open doors in my life and sometimes I'm just scrolling through TikTok and I see you and it's just like the spirit of the Lord that comes over me and I'm able to unlock something or you say something in your prayers that I wanted to hear and tonight or today because it's still the afternoon where I'm while you were praying every prayer point that you touched on spoke to my soul and right now i'm unemployed but i it just gave me a sense of renewal it just gave me a sense of a feeling that what i'm waiting for is coming and my faith is kind of a bit shaky but the way that you prayed and the things that you said while you interceded i just know that it's coming and i just want to thank you for everything that you're doing on this platform and god is really using you to open up doors for many other people because i know that i'm not the only one and i want to say thank you 
amazing i'm encouraged all glory belongs to jesus these are things that he already wills to do for you and sometimes you just need you just need a friend that lends you words to say because you don't know how to say it sometimes you just need somebody that holds your hand and says listen i know you are weak in faith i know in this season you're struggling with hope but let's walk together on this journey of prayer and i'm just that friend so thank you so very much for testifying it always encourages me to hear these kind of testimonies and uh, we just speak the favor of the lord upon you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen thank you for sharing your testimony congratulations to you <laughs> thank you so thank you so much thank you so much uh, mine is really short but all i can tell you now is you made me realize that i was i was second guessing my faith and you re reassured me that you never knew me to have little faith i've always always have big faith and because of that faith um i i managed to get through to zim i am everything is sorted it's all taken care of yesterday i got the good news that someone is gonna bless me with a plane ticket to vic falls and it is all to god and i've been just been opening my heart to god to just um i've literally surrendered everything to god and um to, i started even ministering to all my uber drivers it's just like everything you've been doing every morning tuning in to listen to you um praying and joining and in in agreement all i'm saying to you is god bless you and may you continue doing the work of of the lord and all i'm saying is i'm still overwhelmed my accommodation yeah. and transportation is sorted what? <laughs> so thank you so much yeah, oh no. my goodness so for some of you this is going to be a coded <laughs> conversation because you can tell that we uh we from behind the scenes I'm sorry. so just give you a, a little background this beautiful woman right here is the is the woman that did my makeup on my wedding oh, and yeah. she sent me a message um a few months before my wedding and she said the lord said to me i must travel to zimbabwe where were you leaving then i was in namibia I'm Namibia, actually. I'm a makeup yeah. artist from Namibia. The Lord has told me that I'm supposed to do your makeup. I am yeah. paying my own flight to Zimbabwe, and I am going to be your makeup artist. This was how many yeah. years ago? Um, years ago. No. When did you get married? Well, three years ago. Uh, that that I can't forget, or else my husband is watching. He when when I get oh. home, when I get yeah. in the house, he will say, "Hey, ma'am." <laughs> she flew yeah. herself to Zimbabwe, uh, yeah. brought her own makeup. She brought her own. Guys, if you, if I just need you to love on her. If you have capacity to love on this <laughs> girl right now for me, I'm trying to tell, give you a background of how I know her. So yeah. this particular week, we have been trusting God because she got an opportunity to, uh, to be a part of a, a very powerful bridal sort of conference expo that is happening in Zimbabwe. So we've been yeah. on WhatsApp and she. She's been saying woman of god i i don't know what i'm going to do because the things are not uh, you know the adding ups are not adding up <laughs> and she said woman of god i don't know how i'm even going to go there i don't know how transport will be sorted i don't know where i'll stay i'll need a team but one thing i know is that this opportunity will be a destiny defining opportunity for me and i remember the only thing that i heard from the lord concerning her is that she has never been a woman of small faith this yeah. is the woman that paid her own ticket to come and do my makeup yeah. Uh, and it was during COVID season. She said that yeah. that's, what, that's what the Lord said. If the Lord said it, the Lord will provide. I'm yeah. telling you, she has been an absolute incredible blessing into my life. She has been, she, she, she revealed to me that, you know, when God is serious about you, people become serious about you. She's one of the few people who saw the value in me a long time ago. Uh, we weren't even talking about, you know, we're not even talking about multitudes. We're not talking about anything. She just continued to honor the anointing upon my life. She said, I, I, I don't know what it is about you, woman of God, but I'm the one that's going to do your makeup on your bridal uh bright uh, you on your 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 wedding she flew over she was a blessing she asked for nothing when she was leaving she said I, it was my 
honor she flew back to namibia so recently she's moved to cape town once again another faith move she's a woman of faith she's a woman of radical faith if you know faith I, that's why i had to remind her when she told me this this opportunity she said woman of god this is the opportunity that has come what do i do i said i've never known you to be a woman of little faith never in my life have you proven yourself a woman of little faith and i said if if this opportunity if it's not for you in the season i i it has to come back again. You know, God has to find a way to bring this opportunity back to you again. And so I'm super excited because once again, God has done it in your life, Ada. Thank you thank are you. a testament to me of what of what God does when someone is ready to be radical for him. Thank and you, you left your country, you came to Cape Town because God said. Yeah, you, are, you have started a, a, a school in Cape Town because God yeah. said. You yeah. go where God leads you. And I pray that wherever God god leads you may you never lack provision amen may you never lack provision let it never be said concerning any area any place any assignment any planting that god sends you to let it never be said of you that you lacked provision in the name of jesus christ and make us proud in zimbabwe amen, amen. thank you, thank you. <laughs> make us proud and i pray you, you make destiny connections in zimbabwe destiny contacts in zimbabwe and i pray that the trajectory of your the trajectory of your of your rise in the makeup industry completely shifts because of this particular uh, place where god has placed you in the season in jesus name amen thank you amen thank you congratulations my goodness thank i'm you. so excited now wow 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 i i love this for you I love this for you, sis. Uh, uh, that testimony was so coded. I was like, if I don't unpack it, people won't be able to understand it. So we have been standing in faith together, trusting God together, believing God together. Woman of God, Pastor B, congratulations. <laughs> month of April. How are you uh, acting from? And do share your testimony with us. Uh, thank you, man of God. Uh, greetings to all the brethren, uh, specifically to you, woman of God. Um, what a word. I think um, it was a word that I needed to hear today at this time. Mm. Um, especially when you said this is the, your season where you have felt so low, yet you have so much to give. Mm. So I think God has directed me to be in this platform. I do not usually attend to this. So I felt it is necessary that I should give a testimony because truly I believe this was this was a wait for, for my season. Mm -hmm. And I believe after I've heard from you, this is my gonna be my season of lifting. And surely I will still continue come back with a greater and more testimonies because of the weight. This weight, it was kind of like, it's, it's pushing me, it's pushing me to my destiny. And with the prayer points that you have prayed, that you are praying, may God locate you to your destiny, help us so that you are able to unleash what God, you know, has put into your life. Those are the prayer items that I needed in this season in my life. Hence, I'm testifying, it's a weight that came right in time. So Amen. Ah, I'm so encouraged by woman of God. And Amen. indeed, may the Lord cause you to shine in the season in Jesus' mighty name. There are prayers Amen. you have prayed that have it, it seemed as though there were no answer, there were no answers to the prayers. But I just pray in the name of Jesus that in the season, this is going to become the season where the Lord will begin to unpack Amen. and unravel your package for you in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. I'm touching and with you. I'm standing in faith with you, woman of God. Uh, Amen. May, may you receive your answer. Prayer. Yes. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much for testifying, woman of God. Amen. I appreciate you so much. Uh, thank you very, very much. Amen. That was Pastor B in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. We're going to get another testimony. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. The Lord is doing amazing things over this broadcast. The Lord is doing amazing things as we step into the month, month of distinct value. Month of distinct value. Amela, congratulations. Where are you? From and do share your testimony with us hi everyone um i am matamera i'm connect i'm connecting from Bulukwane, mm. and i have started listening to your lives um since i think it was january when i um bumped into your <laughs> into your lives and i never 
well sometimes i miss them but <laughs> i try not to miss them yeah. so because i've seen like great great value in everything so with today's life um i felt like it was for me because um i'm someone who because of life's experiences and how things just happen like i, I was I, I was someone who was confident in herself um for the longest time up until like life happened and my self-worth just went so low and i realized how this word where it speaks about value and the value that one has and what they have to offer and how they they don't see that what they have to offer is just that big so that was my word um because i i felt that um it brought me back to my value you know and to know that if especially when you spoke about how like we some of us were never taught to um contend for our own value um that really spoke to me because that's like i felt like that was for me um specifically that i can't speak for my value and yeah this was just really amazing and thank you so much um for everything <laughs> so so encouraged to hear that this was a rima word for you and if the lord came for you he always reveals to redeem and so we just speak to any insecurity in your life leave in the name of jesus christ and allow god to reveal to you who you are in this season this mighty and wonderful name welcome to the month of distinct value begin to allow god to uh, to unravel who he has always made you and called you to be amen, amen. amen. Thank Let's you. restoration over you restoration amen. to your confidence restoration to your courage restoration amen. to your identity in jesus mighty and wonderful amen. name amen. Thank amen. You. amen congratulations amen. to you welcome to the month of distinct value oh man i don't know about you but i'm excited in my spirit this month man oh man boy oh boy congratulations sissy congratulations um please tell us your name where you're connecting from uh and do share your testimony Hi, my name is Shamsa and I'm from LA in California and oh my god I love you so much. I've been watching you ever since, you know, um you know like I broke up with my ex fiance and I started watching your videos. You you've really helped my life a lot. I just come on here and pray with you as well. Um, at the beginning of the year, I broke up with I, I broke up with my ex um, fiance and um, I found out that I you know was pregnant. And then I had a miscarriage after that. You know, it was just like so much like problems back to back. And that's when I came across your channel. Right now I'm going back to school, um, but I'm just like, I'm looking forward to life and seeing where it's gonna take me, but I'm really hopeful and so excited actually. I went back to um, the gym to work out and I felt like um, previously my value was not appreciated. and. You know, I've been just giving it out on a discount and it just feels so nice pouring it into myself. Wow. Yeah. I love that for you. Thank feels you so nice much. pouring yeah. it into yourself. Ah, yeah. so good. That hit, that hit my spirit. I love that for you. Congratulations. And it's so beautiful to know that in your healing season, in your healing journey, God has been doing the healing. You know that you've been immersing yourself in the word of god and you've been immersing yourself in prayer and what i heard is you were speaking is that i heard that god is rebuilding you differently this time Ooh. thank you very much i'm hoping god. so because i feel like it's just like a new you know a person i feel like i'm right now i'm going into the gym i'm going to school i feel like you know i'm becoming more spiritual uh, um it's just positive all the way I love that so it's not a bad thing all the you know overall i love that so much i want you to write that down somewhere if you journal if you if you have a diary if you if you you know just write it down god is rebuilding me differently this time he's rebuilding you differently even the way you're going to show up in your next relationship is going to be completely radically different because you're going to know your worth and you're not going to allow anyone to uh, allow you to negotiate any discounts on that worth.
in Jesus' name. So may the word of God build you. May you be a woman built up in prayer. When you are a woman built up on the altar of prayer, nothing can break you, nothing can shake you. In yes. Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, uh, I speak God's blessing and God's healing uh, uh, and wholeness over you corridors of this new season of your life we celebrate you. you we love you here you know that you are absolutely loved and continue to you continue continue to build your life with prayer amen amen thank you very much you are most Bye. welcome sis ah oh, beautiful beautiful testimony beautiful there is no heartbreak that god cannot mend amen Congratulations, Blanti. How are you? Where are you connecting from? And do share your testimony with us. Uh, Blanti, are you here? Congratulations, congratulations, Blanti. Are you here? Blanti, unfortunately, is not available. Let's see if we can get... Uh, unstoppable hallelujah thank you jesus welcome to the month of December. hallelujah thank you Jesus. Congratulations. hi good evening i am sanita and i'm from jamaica well i'm currently based in barbados um i'm a listener of your programs your lives um your messages on tiktok they really encourages me you know um got off from work and i log on and as i logged on to your live i got a call from a family member they they um talked bad to me they evaluate me in the most way i was even crying while i was listening to your message i mean my family they treated me like i'm a nobody my, my children father the same way but I know who my God is and I know that he will take me through this and this is my season. This is my season to rise because all those, all, all of who are talking bad about me and against me, you know, they're not doing any way better than I am. So I am staying rooted and grounded knowing that my daddy God will never fail me. Thank you and I am so grateful for your message because it builds me up even now. I am I am gonna ask you if you could just repeat the prior points for me because I was so into praying with you and I didn't I didn't write down anything. You know, I'm telling you, I am so encouraged and I just block and delete who must block and delete and now I am just moving forward ever with God. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wonderful. I pray that God continues to cover you and you. And we just speak a calm to those those uh, strives in your family. There's no need for us to be fighting in family, and the enemy loves it. He thrives off off of it when we're fighting with our blood. And so I just pray in the name of Jesus for for those strifes to <coughs> for that strife to begin to. Uh, to begin to uh, uh, to calm down in your family in Jesus name. So I'm going to repeat these prayer points, but I'm going to be quick. Uh, but promise me one thing that you'll go on our YouTube platform uh, where you are able to then get these uh, this, uh, these uh, these prayer points. If you just look at the very, very end of the broadcast somewhere close to there, you're going to see the session where you testify and where I read them. Right. So the first prayer point was every environment where my star has been deprived of shining may it begin to shine that was prayer point number one prayer point number two every dormant value in my life let it be unearthed that's prayer point number two prayer point number three may my value speak for me in places i cannot speak for myself Prayer point number four, may I be able to invoice a full value with no negotiations or discounts for my value. Number five, may destiny connections locate me and support me as my value 
begins to change communities and every place where God has planted me. Number six, may I be recommended in rooms where kings, queens, and men of great influence sit because of my value. Number seven, I speak visibility. This is, I think this was a declaration. I actually said, I speak visibility to every value uh, you bring to the table where it has been unnoticed and ignored. So it can also be a prayer point. And then number eight, may the Lord make me an a valuable asset in every room or project or relationship I'm in. And I know this is still very fast, but I'm assuming that you had some of them written down already. But once again, remember, don't worry. This is going to be uploaded on our YouTube platform. You can literally go there and pause and listen uh, and listen and write down the prayer uh, points. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for your uh, for your testimony. Um, and thank you for just sharing your life with us. We truly appreciate you, sis. Congratulations. Welcome to the month of distinct value. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. All right, let's see if I can get a couple of more people to testify and I think we'll be done for the evening. Ah, oh, what a time in the presence of the Lord. What a time in the presence of the Lord. Congratulations, Ella. Where are you connecting from? And do share your testimony with us. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you, Ella. I'm connecting from Johannesburg. I just wanted to thank you so much for this word. I feel that God is moving in my career, in my parenting, in my relationships. And what really stands out for me is he who began the good work in me is faithful to bring it to completion. I feel that all like all the and sermons that I've been listening to from you up to this point are preparing me for this moment. Um, I will try to be brief, but even in my workplace, I was facing such challenges. And I remember your workplace prayer, the one that you said we should pray every morning before we go out and if I tell you that the situation has changed miraculously and I believe that it's just the beginning I believe that God has got bigger things for me my son is autistic he was having issues with speech we couldn't find a place where he could get help and your prayer around health he loves it so much he even recites it himself now and his speech has come back if i tell you it's miraculous and i believe that this is just the beginning like god is working new things even in relationships i remember when you told us to pray offensive prayers mm -hmm. and i started to pray offensive prayers and things have changed in my relationships and i'm casting down strongholds mm -hmm. and i just wanted to thank you so much for the blessing of God on your life and sharing it with us. So yeah, I'm excited for the new things to come for April. And it's not a coincidence, it's actually my birth month as well. So I know God is working. Thank you. Wow, incredible. Congratulations, sis. That is amazing. That is amazing. I see a life changing. I see a life changing uh, on the altar of prayer your knees the lord is about to finish the the walls of your life by you just staying on your knees and many people will wonder how you rose many people will wonder how you arrived where you are uh, it's because you stayed on your knees so don't you dare sleep on prayer sis uh, my love to you and your son uh, in jesus mighty name may god continue to give you wisdom and resources on how to take care of him uh, in Jesus mighty and wonderful name. And I speak complete wholeness where, where the healing has started. May God, I speak complete wholeness in that area. I'm trusting God and touching and agreeing with you in Jesus mighty and wonderful name for him to shock you and surprise you. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Congratulations. Amen. Thanks. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful testimonies are Testimonies are mind-blowing. Testimonies always leave me in awe. God is at work. God is at work. Our people stay. Hello. Is moving. Congratulations, Shelly. Where are you connecting from? Is Shelly your real name? And what is the testimony you have today? Hi, good day. My name is Samantha Blake. Um, I'm from Jamaica. No, let me first thank God for the opportunity to be here. I must say 
that from the day I glanced your video for the first time, um, God, God just placed you there for such a good reason. No, um, I was going, I saw the first video and then I start going through other videos. No, I was actually praying on how I can pay my school fees because four years ago, the Lord said, go to school for counseling. And I've started and every semester I've been struggling to pay my fees. While it has not been paid for this semester, yet, I believe that it's going to be paid because I listened to the video that you did about fees. You also did a video about immigration papers going to come through. And that week that I listened that video and I was raising my hand and believing me and my brother's siblings, all of us papers um, went in the same time. But my brother's, which I believe is more important than mine, came through the same week. There's another week that <clears throat> I watched a video about jobs and it was the time for my assessment, right? That's called We Do Appraisal. So the last time I did my appraisal, I failed. And I believe that had faith in the Lord and the prayer that you prayed about job. You, you did a lot about, about jobs, but that specific one, I really believe that I scored almost 100% on my appraisal. Like I got, yes. And I'm just saying that the things, I know you don't have a lot of time, but the things that you spoke about today, I'm not saying that is not effective to men, but it is effective to women because we have lost so much confidence and this prayer that you pray today add value to our lives and give gives us that confidence that yes we can be do stuff i have been a victim of domestic violence for the father of my kids for 10 years verbally physically and every alley and this is one year now that i'm starting over and when you have been through instances such as those you lose confidence in even the ground that you're walking on you lose self-worth and i always pray that there is a light that will shine for from me for others to see that I can make a difference within this world. I always pray that I will make a difference in this world and I always pray for uncommon favor. The uncommon favor that you would have prayed for today is that others will see my value and recognize my values. Kings and queens will recognize my Oh, glory. Kings and queens will recognize my values. Not because somebody abused that don't mean that other persons out there that are 10 times better will not recognize you. I just want to say that to all the women, no matter family members, abusive persons that have done you wrong, with this prayer pray today, if you go on your knees and believe, persons will see your value. And I want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you for sharing your testimony. I'm seeing so many people, so many women specifically in the comment section really resonating with your story. So thank you for yes. sharing those portions of your life. Um, and I pray that they have ministered to somebody. And thank you for that additional prayer point. Powerful, beautiful. I and uh, thank you for just sharing your life with us and so, oh, so, so many of those testimonies. It's such an encouragement to know that these prayers are really changing lives. Amen. 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 Thank you. Much love to you. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful testimony. My goodness. My goodness. I could tell that a lot of women were resonating in the comment section. May the Lord restore every person of value that was ever stood from you in jesus name congratulations lovely lady let us know your name and where you're connecting from uh and your testimony hey. for the day <laughs> pleasant good afternoon to you um it's 5 4 to 1 here in cayman i'm from jamaica my name is tanya yeah, um, I'm from Jamaica, but now I reside in the Cayman Highland where I do work and I do live. I just want to say God bless you. You have been such a blessing to us ladies because it seems as if most of us go through um, 
violences in our relationships and um, where sometimes our spouse always tell us that we are not good enough but that's a lie from the devil because yes we are valuable yes we are good enough because very weird you know we go through a lot as ladies and I just want to lift up you guys and tell you guys that you are beautiful and you are loved by God. You know, I hear lying down and listen to you, you know, speaking about value. I remember when I was in Jamaica, my husband told me that you will never, you will never be anything. You will never be good enough for no one. But I can stand and I can say this evening that I am blessed and I am loved because God blessed me in so many ways, in so many forms where I can lift my hands and I can bless people, you know. And I just want to say thank you, woman of God. You are doing a wonderful job and God bless you. And each time... Each time I listen to your program, I grow higher and I grow. I am a nurse and um, I don't know, but each time I listen to your program, there are so much blessings for me. God is just blessing me. God is just taking me higher. And I just want to say thank you, woman of God. You're a blessing and you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. And God bless you all, you beautiful ladies. And you are loved. Let nobody tell you that you are not good enough. That's right. So beautiful. Thank you for that word to the ladies. Thank you for the words of encouragement to you, to me. Thank you for your testimony. We truly appreciate it. Ladies, did you hear that? You are beautiful. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Wow. I think we're going to have Rachel. We might just have Rachel as the last one at this point. Congratulations, Rachel. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, woman of God. Yeah. Um, I have so many testimonies, but I'm going to reserve them for the other day. I'm awesome. just here to speak the word upon your life. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God for you, and I want to pray that May God elevate you from glory to glory Amen. as you water us. May God water you. Amen. All this declaration that you have spoken upon our lives, may your life a thousandfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May God increase you, may more anointing upon you, more great grace upon you. Amen. As you wake up every day and pray for us, people are still standing and testifying. May you testify in the name of Jesus. You shall not lack bread. As you water us, men will favor you from all the angles. Men from men will favor you from the entire world in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak favor. I speak more great grace upon you and Pastor Tim in the name of Jesus. As he allows you to do this for us, may God also in increase him in his ministry in the mighty name of jesus may god send you people who are going to be a blessing in the mighty name of jesus presidents will look for you for for prayers people will look for you for advice great people great people of value will look for you as you stand in the gap of us every day every single day all these prayers that you are declaring declaring upon our lives let them work for you in the mighty name of jesus christ mm -hmm. i thank god for what you are doing for each and every one of us i am so touched if it else they will say it's been easter weekend we've been attending other other programs so many things you are a married woman you are a mother you are a wife you are in ministry but you never complain every day you come and stand for us 
may heavens open for you may heavens open for you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let everything that you have spoken over us let everyone who testifies may you testify a thousand folds in the mighty name of jesus christ you shall not struggle to get anything you shall not ask people for things but people will go out of their way to favor you in the name of jesus christ may the may may the wings of god protect your going out and your going your, your coming in wherever you go wherever you step your feet favor shall flow shall overflow in the name of jesus christ i pray for more wisdom upon you you are a great woman of valor you are a great woman i don't even know how to describe but may god take you from glory to glory as you stand every day to pray for us to speak and share the word of god upon our lives in the name of jesus christ and i want to thank you for everybody who stands with you everybody who encourages you everybody who stands with you in ministry may god bless them in jesus name amen Amen. Rachel, why do you want to make me cry, Rachel? Why you Hello. <laughs> it is well. Rachel, it is well. Rachel, Rachel, why cry, Rachel? Oh, wow. You deserve wow, it, wow. woman of God. You deserve it. You deserve it. I have testimonies, but I'm keeping them for another day. But um, I, was, I was touched in my spirit that you water us. Thank you those so who, those who water you shall be watered. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you for your love. Thank you for consistently. You know, I, you're one of the people I know. You, I, I know, prays for me, and and it's you'll be yeah. so fascinated at how uh, ministry is a place where there are two things you mustn't expect from people. If you receive them, you must you must you must take great great honor in it because they don't come a lot. It's uh, being thanked. Just don't expect it. <laughs> don't expect it. Work is unto the Lord and being prayed for. Just don't expect it because people generally are going to want you to pray for them. So Amen. for you and every person that carries the fabric of your heart that mentions me in prayer, even if it's 30 seconds, 30 seconds of your prayer, uh, once a month, it, it will completely change change the way my life looks so i covet uh, uh, paul says i covet your prayers that's the only place in the bible where coveting is allowed coveting is to desire to the point where you are like jealous for something so i covet your prayers so that when mm. when uh, when you pray for me i am strong and i can also come stand here and be strong uh for you too so thank you rachel for always being for me you you always are an example of that on this broadcast so I'm sending all you so All the glory to God. All the glory to God. To encourage every every prayer governor that let us stand on, on, the, on behalf of this woman in our private prayers. Amen. I know we all from, some of us, we are from different ministries. We all have different prayer groups. In those prayer groups, may we, may we mention this woman and the husband in Jesus' name. I am encouraged. I am, Rachel, I think that's it for the day. My heart can't take any longer. I, my heart can't Amen. take any longer. Thank you. I love you so much, sis. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, man, my heart is so full. Prayer governors, thank you for connecting with us. It's, it's a weekend and it's a holiday. Many of you could have said to yourselves, listen, we are, we are on vacation. <laughs> but you came and you showed up you showed up for your destiny you showed up for your assignment you showed up for your ministry you showed up for your corporate space you showed up for your household you showed up for your family and may god honor and remember you for it in jesus mighty and wonderful name and congratulations to you welcome to the month of distinct value i pray in the name of jesus that, that may god begin to unearth you from wherever place wherever place you have been hidden in jesus mighty and wonderful name i celebrate you all congratulations this month will begin to it will it came with a package and i pray that this package it will unpack it this package will be unpacked to you
in this month and nothing will be left untouched in this month in jesus mighty and wonderful name amen and amen and amen prayer governors uh congratulations to you thank you so much Nwai, our new subscriber i think we got about um three four subscribers from t from the time we began remember this is our second broadcast but i think we had about four people subscribing some of them were subscribing for more than seven months that's another way in which you can just partner with us you're just saying you know woman of god i want to help you carry the burden we've got an, a, a podcast that was recently released so that also is a production on its own it's a full-blown production and uh, your generosity um, has been of great and immense help in uh, that production and we're going to continue we actually have a, a second shooting this this coming week with two more guests that are coming in some of them are coming out of the province and we are making sure that they uh they arrive right we're making sure that they are here um and so thank you for your generosity thank you to the 270 people that share the broadcast may god remember you uh and may god make you a partaker of the blessing that's connected to those that share his word thank you to every single person that was giving i saw the gifts coming in thank you thank you thank you once again if you know then the culture of this pro the, this this platform we don't have something called an offering time <laughs> we don't we don't ask for money and so as people are led they give as people feel impacted they give thank you so much Yemu, another subscriber who's just saying listen woman of god i just want to partner with you i want to connect with what what god is doing on this platform in my own small way um so thank you so much Yemu, for being a subscriber uh thank you to everybody that connected your families in the name of jesus shall become a partaker of what you established on the altar of prayer today may everything connected to you begin to thrive and prosper in the matchless name of jesus christ and once again for the generosity i saw somebody gave via um via paypal because i saw a notification coming in uh a, a few minutes ago thank you so very much uh, uh so some people don't give gifts uh, some people will tell you that i don't know how to uh purchase gifts on TikTok, uh, but they always come through via uh, via PayPal and we are so deeply grateful. You are doing an amazing work and uh, when you see the Hosting Heaven podcast, please go watch our first episode. Our next episode is, uh, is coming on Friday this coming week and once again, we are filming as well two more episodes this week so they are going to be coming back to back to back when you see that work when you see the stellar work that we are doing i want you to know that it is because of your hands and your feet you are the hands and the feet that god is using to propel that vision and i saw it i saw it more than it than a podcast that I, I we're calling it a podcast but i saw it i saw it if if some of you know a man named sid roth you know, I, 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 I saw that kind of a mantle fall upon House of Hosting Heaven, where where we are not we are we are not just going to be limited to uh, YouTube. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a viable TV show. And I want you to mark my words. A time is coming when the Lord will take it there and he's bringing the destiny connections and the destiny. So when you are when you are looking at it, I don't want you to just see a YouTube platform. I just I want you to see a work that God is starting as a YouTube platform, but it is reaching nations. Uh, people need to know testimonies of 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 visitations from the Lord. The Lord has an appetite for people to know that they can encounter Him, and you are propelling that vision. So thank you so very much. Congratulations, everybody! Welcome to the month of distinct value, uh, in Jesus' mighty and wonderful name. So remember. Remember, when we do our crossover, we don't do morning prayer because the girl's got to sleep. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. So in the morning, I'll just be getting some rest um, uh, and uh, I will be meeting you um, uh, on Tuesday morning. So sending you so much love. Um, God bless you all. Uh, Shy says, oh, no, Shy, please allow me to sleep. Shy and Linda. Aye, 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 aye. You guys, you, you watch me from, from bed. I must sleep. I must also get some rest. Amen and amen. So sending you guys so much love. Um, and I'll be seeing you on Tuesday morning. Remember, you can catch the rebroadcast of the session um, uh, tomorrow. So you can just spend some time reconnecting with this word. Amen. God bless you, prayer governors. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Tons and tons of love to you. Amen.